Welcome back to Dodge and Cruel Stone Soup, everyone. So I've set up yet another rocked boat here. Hopefully this one goes all right. But we'll see. I have trouble getting the orange boats going, but once they get going, they can be pretty good. Ooh, jackals. I'll bring them back into this nice little choke point. At least I got that. Problem with the orange boats, they don't really gain any, like, armor class unless they get, um... Statue form or something like that to get them some. So they can have a pretty difficult start. Apparently some people like them as mages. I haven't really played a lot as mages though. Let's try one at some stage. I mean I've tried them as archers before and that really didn't work for me. Uh not the best. I'm gonna get surrounded, aren't they? Yup. Oh, come on, the kobold noticed me. Oh, well, at least this weapon is magic or something. Just a basic old dagger. Which damage do I start with? Like, six damage or something? I guess it's all right. The other one doesn't start with a lot of damage, but it does go up fairly well. Um, and there I can constrict people, so my damage is not going to be the problem. Oh, no? Um, I feel like it's full of flail as well. I don't have a lot to, like, take it out. I might just, like, leave it for now, because I really don't think that would go well. I get a, I didn't get a ring, I got a scroll, alright. Well, <laughs> rings make a huge difference to the power of an orange pod. Like, I had an orange pod recently that got some really nice rings, and it was such a big difference. I gotta get, get some strength, but I do need some dags at some stage. Hey, it's a faded old army, I'll check it, but I'll probably never grab it. It's Gozag for human maclab. Um, there's no particular god I have to have. Gozag would, of course, be nice once I swap gods, but I don't know, I'll probably just go Jiva. We had slime poet, those are always fun. Uh, it's funny being able to go in water. Not many characters start off that way. I mean, I guess some characters fly and stuff. Ooh. Oh, this imp is quite fast, isn't it? And I can't fly, okay. Um, I gotta put on my fiery armor, otherwise I'm gonna get killed. Oh, Natasha stood up. Oh, that was great. Her moving up to me made such a big difference there. Just stayed back and just like cast slow or something. It could have been worse. Uh, my fire ammo good. Good, it's still on. So I'm fine at killing the Tajra again. Good, I got the two years out of my fire ammo, which is very nice. But it does mean the Taj is still lurking around this level somewhere. Uh, I guess I could have some poison darts. Give me something to throw. There she is. Hey, got her again. She doesn't even summon an imp this time round, which makes things so much easier. Yeah, really, she can be quite random with how tough she is, depending how many imps she brings out and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's got a cluster of trees. I guess it's someone's little... Forest or something. The dead, the trees must be like fairly dense in this game because you can't move through like a forest of trees. It's not like it's just uh, difficult to move through or something. Oh, there's a bat. That's like, easy enough, I think. Although I'm one of the few characters that can actually take damage from those. It's just uh, this level I should be fine. And even oh, there's Grinder. Oh, she's getting me with pain. Oh, I still don't have anything on me, do I? Um, I got a scroll there that might be identify. Ow, no, she's killing me. I'll put on the fiery armor and then I'll do the fog spire swarm, I guess. Oh, ow. Hey, okay. Well, Ignis saved me, but I was absolutely dying there. Um, hold up. I got a scroll here that looks like it might be identify. Let me just go read it. Oh, yeah, it's identify. No surprises there. So I've got some teleport scrolls. Well, two. Enlightenment. Well, that's nice. I'll do another scroll. Poison. All right. I can do one more to scroll as well. Enchant. Well, that's not so useful. I don't even have anything to enchant right now with this character. Oh, no. I just got smited. Um, I've got to run. I think. I think I can run. Yeah, it's far enough away. And then I can get my health back and repeat that whole process with that staircase. Alright. 
Yeah, of course, it's smiting me. Um, hey, I get to bring it upstairs. There we go. One v one fighter, which seems to work fairly well. I don't think orgs like offer to convert you across if you've already got a god. Uh oh, no, I don't know where this guy is. Ah, probably following me, isn't it? Oh, still next to me. Uh oh, that's literally killing me. This is actually a problem because it's invisible. I put on my fiery arm, but I don't have a way of healing up. Uh, I'm gonna try one of these potions. Oh, Berserk, that's um, fine, I guess. Gave me a little bit more health, but yeah, I, I just couldn't figure out which base that guy was on. Maybe if I had kept a bit of more of a close ride, I would have known. Oh, there's some revelations. Uh... Oh, that's pretty just... Cobalt bag. Thankfully, no one was like poisoned weapons or anything this time round. Hey, I could use that shield, right? It's a little uh, kite shield. You know, let's just get some shield skill and put this one on. I think that's you generally a pretty helpful idea. Um, although it takes a little while to kind of recover back my shield value. Oh, trash is that's not that useful. So at least this isn't a huge shield. Uh, there's a good old Okumaru there. There's another option you could definitely go with these shapeshifters, but I don't think so. I think I'll be Jiva character at some stage. Alright, well, can I identify another one of these things? I'm finding tons of identify. Like, oh, I've got a potion mutation. I won't just randomly drink it, but it's like sometimes you can just randomly drink those ones if you have enough. And I don't know, especially if you have like a status. What's it called? The form? Uh, Lich form going that you can just kind of like randomly drink a few of those to get some good mutations. Oh no, not two of these. Let's bring one of them upstairs because, yeah, two of them smiting me would definitely kill me. Because, um, Octopus don't have the largest amount of health in the world. I think special about the temple, no, nah, it's pretty average. Temple got a decent number of gods, but nothing too special. Alright, and I think behind these plants, they're just like kind of random plants, but I think they're just... Almost feels like it should be a feather's older or something, I don't know what's up with these plants. Oh, plus one boots, so much for those, I mean, they're not even that special. Yeah, hey, a little buckler, if I hadn't already got this uh, shield I've got right now, I may stick with my current shield, but if I hadn't have got it, I would have at least had something to go with. Well, at the moment, I think the shield, I mean, it's a decent defense, the one I've got right now. Oh, yeah, good old Rue. You can make sacrifices. Uh, Rue's somewhat fun, but I don't play them that often. I always kind of struggle a little bit with certain sacrifices. Oh, do I fight? I might fight. Um, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Easy enough getting rid of Sigmund. I just didn't want him in a good distance where he could uh, do lots of... Bad stuff to me while I was running up to him, because I don't think I've got any range attacks on this character. Ooh, it's a flowing sand. Oh, this is an ogre. That's right, I have real big trouble with these ogres, don't I? Um, I'll do this one and Do I just want to... I'll do this one with the poison scroll, but... I don't know if that's going to quite work. Ooh, maybe not. Almost. Um, still a bit scary. All right, so I hear the very distant hiss. I'll do my revelations. I think. Oh, so is it all the way down here that I've got to go? Oh, no, it's all the way down there. All right. Well, at least I know where I've got to go, so I've still got uh, quite a decent chance to think of making it there in time. Any rigs yet? No rigs, that's a bad sign. But at least I got a shield. Uh, I gotta go this way. There's a lot of escape hatches in here. Okay, well my inventory is pretty much cleared out, so I can just head it anyway. Um, whoa. Let's back up a bit, because there is a mummy here. I'll try bringing it around this corner. Right, do not do the zombie howl the monkeys still howl? I'm not sure they do, because I know the normal ones howl quite a lot and attract everything. Uh, 
What's the door while I heal up? I don't think some of the zombies can... Oh, oh, open doors. Bog mummy? Wait, that looks completely different. It looks almost like a bog body? Okay, interesting. They still looks, kind of look like the normal mummies. Um, what does it actually do? It's a slow spell, but it's also through frost. I'm going to try and get it a bit closer. Don't have the kill resist, unfortunately, which is a bit of a shame, but I seem to be doing just fine in that fight. Alright, shields where it needs to be. So I want fighting unarmed. I want to keep the shields going until I get it to round 10, I think. Because the uh, first 10 points are pretty good with the uh, good old uh, kite shields. Uh, I'm just going to run around the outside a bit to make sure there's nothing wandering around here that could cause me problems. Whoa. Okay. Oh, slowed me. That's the problem. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Got my speed back. That's better. Okay, uh, I'll clear out this little room just in case it pops open. Although I guess that was an alligator, probably wouldn't have ever been able to pop it open. Are there any treasure or is it just enemies everywhere? I got to open for a little bit of treasure. I mean, this is a good experience, I guess, but. Maybe this side of the water will have some. Oh, there we go. It's got some enchant armor in case I. I guess I can put on my shield at some stage, maybe. Revelations, Brilliance, and Mutation. Plus a whole lot of unknown stuff. This is the more treasure. Hey, it's got a ring in it. Ring of Dex. I'll definitely take one of those. Um, we'll have a little bit of my shield. But I should get more Dex at some stage. Also, there's some enlightenment. Oh, an identifier, which I can use on. I'll do all this thing. Might. All right. And presumably there's just going to be normal zombies and stuff, things I've already killed quite a few of, and I think I'm done with here. Uh, what? Is there really nothing on this floor? I guess so. Yeah, I picked absolutely everything up, so I guess I can just get out of there. Definitely not missing out of the treasure. How's the damage going? It's up to 11, but my attack delay is actually down a bit from where it was. It's on uh, one attack delay. Well, I guess it's kind of up. It's uh, slower attacking anyway. Alright, let's get this to guys' attention, but I don't think I'm poison resist right now, which is a bit of a shame. Oh, come on, just move up to me, howl monkey. I was trying to, like, lure it back, because I know they make, like, an old noise that they're howling, and I didn't want to get surrounded or something. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna get some more decks. Um, at some stage, I should get the dodging, like, probably right now. Just throw it in with my other skills I'm getting. I've already got 13 decks, but it will do something. Hopefully it's not too early, but I need the defenses. Oh, there's a rushing water? That sounds like my sort of thing. I do have a revelations again, so... Sure, I'll pop one of those. And I was going in completely the wrong direction, so it's probably a good thing I popped the revelations. Alright. Uh, I think my inventory is still, yeah, it's still like half empty, so it should be good. And it's nice, because I can walk in all this water, even if some of these enemies struggle with it a bit. Um, this might have frogs in the center, which unfortunately will also be able to go in the water, but we'll see what it's got. Oh, this looks like it will have frogs. Uh, so Dada's not going to move up, or do I do it? I think I have to move up to it. Hey, there's a frog. I'm going to move back, because there's probably multiple frogs. And 1v1, I should be fine. In fact, I'm nice level. I should be fine against the frogs. There we go. There's another one. Why is that, like, one patch of water? Actually, there's a number of them. Like, clean water instead of the normal sewer water that we've got here. Okay, the sack of spiders. Identify... Blinking's excellent as well. There's a whole bunch of really good stuff here. Oh yeah, I've got some Emulate. Not that I can use the Emulate yet, because I don't have any fire resist, but presumably I'll find some rings of that. Oh, stop running away, Ada. Alright, well, I believe I'm completely done with this place. Nothing useful? Oh, so there's all these corpses on the ground. I mean, I guess that makes sense. This isn't an Oz where it's not, everything is not undead or something. Oh, uh... 
I have no cold resist, but I think I can just go fight this guy. I do have like options like bring out my armor and uh, using the sack of spiders and that sort of thing. What is it? Barracuda. Um, can I put on some fiery armor? Hopefully, this is fine. Hmm, I'm not sure if I needed that one or not, but it did uh, get me through there fairly easily. I got a scroll of noise, so oh, that's a shame, but at least I can identify something else. Got a uh, potion, three potions of heal wounds, that's really good. Uh, I just kill these gnolls, I guess. No retreat there for me, at least it doesn't seem to be giving me one. Oh, whose ghost is this? We've got... Bong Chion Dong's ghost. Uh, no ice element list. They just have the free spell. I don't have any cold resist. I think I'm gonna leave them in there for now, but I might eventually be able to find them. Oh, they want to make an ice sculpture of me. I mean, I don't think they even have the sculpt simulacrum spell, but it's kind of cool. They've got like a unique dialogue there. What do I want? I want the blinking. I want the fog. Guess I want the identify. Do I want a silence? Yeah, actually. I think I do. And a vulnerability. Jaws just buy, buy basically everything. And then I can go identify these things. Pose the curing. Alright. Oh, that's not that's not working. Might just bring out the spiders. There we go. Oh, the ice beast, okay. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have the uh, spiders anymore, but I do still have the fiery armor. Ooh, this guy's gonna take me down. I might have to do the fiery armor. I mean, there's not many of them left, but I don't really want to risk it. Oh, I guess there were quite a few left after all. Okay, so we've got an Amulet of Spirit Guardian and Spreads. I mean, whoa. I think I just keep on fighting. Nope, I drink curing. It's gotta be lethally poisoned. Um, Spirit Guardian, that's useful right now, isn't it? Strands is definitely useful, because that'll bring my damage up from 15 damage. I don't know how much that went up by, but that's definitely useful. I don't, need, I don't care about swords. I'm all about the slapping people with my tentacles. But with this character, I'm eventually gonna go for this now unique, like, Octopod and Untitled. So, um, I'm pretty sure I haven't had that one. That's the plan with the scary to go for that one. Hey, I killed him, but then I got like really badly poisoned. I might just go upstairs and wait that one off. Oh, where's the frog go? It's uh, for some reason not noticing me. Okay. That's a null sergeant, so it shouldn't speed up its uh, followers, not like the null butters. So I should just be able to bring it back to the staircase. No problems getting rid of the sergeant, but I'll go down somewhere else. I'm not surrounded by dolls. Hold on, I don't lose anything if I put on a flux talisman. So, oh, do I? It mounts my uh, shield, doesn't it? Where does it say? Where does it say, actually? Uh, okay, inflict dangerous contamination of foes. Is it unable to use weapons, shields, or body armor? Yeah, oh, man, I hate that. I mean, I don't think that would ever let you, uh, use shields. That's the disappointing thing, like, with a lot of the talismans. Like, no, you can't use the shield. It's like, well, that's one of my main defenses, so... I kind of, kind of can't really... I mean, I guess it's more damage, but I don't think it's worth it. Um... Alright, I do see a lot of uh, poison darts flying over my head though. Got my burst, what else do I have? My burst and digging. So I don't have a huge amount of ones, but uh, still, with my skills reach to target, I might just get a little bit of evocations or something. Oh, hey there, little vampire. I don't think I can see it visible right now. Hmm. Oh, well, at least it didn't go invisible, so I don't have to use any sort of consumables to kill it. What's on the ground here? Dang it, nothing I really care about. Alright. Oh, whoops. Did I just... Pull that guy out to the alarm trap? 
I probably could have avoided doing that, but oh well. I did pull it onto the alarm trap. I'm just going to go all the way back to the staircase and pull up these two guys. Because at least I can deal with those two. Oh, oh, there's a bear. The bears like to go berserk. Am I bring it all the way back to the staircase? Hey, one hit the bear. I mean, that's one way to stop it going berserk, right? Just slap it and it dies. Uh, is Cosphere? I don't... Mm, no, nah, probably not. I mean, Cosphere is an okay spell, but I don't know. I've never really liked uh, most of the hexes. I mean, Yara's is pretty decent and stuff. Oh, there's some bit. Lignification. Lignification is exactly what I want to see. Because that can make... Well, it can give me good armor class for more health. And uh, I think I slap for more damage as well. I've got that one on. Because, like, the branches I'm slapping people with. So it's uh, definitely pretty good. In situations where I need like a little bit more defense and also against sky sharks where I don't want to have blood. The tree. Stay less tasty, I guess. Uh oh. I should back up here. I don't think oh that doesn't notice me. I wanna bring out wanna bring out something but not like everything. Oh, where do they go? There we go, got the attention of something, and I can pull it out. Okay. Hey, and identify, so I can go identify... I guess, potions. Pretty much all I've got some haste potions, those are nice. Uh, Blocky the, the Orcular, he's a lot tougher than the old, like, Block the Orc. He's got Sandblast, Shock, Throw Flame, Throw Frost, Haste, Sting. Right, so he's got a good selection of spells. Um, I'm gonna try and bring him around the corner. Started with the haste. I gotta start with some fiery armor, although maybe I should have just brought out um the little uh whatever they're called. The uh, spiders. Did that kill him? A faint prismatic mist rises from Blocula's broken form and then dissipates? I think I destroyed him. Fully. Apparently, like when he uh when you pacified him like with the orc or something, and he would dump staircases, he used to like blow up into butterflies, which was kind of funny. And then um it like reformed, which was really funny as well. Uh yeah, because technically, like, uh, going up staircases for pacified creatures technically kills them off. Except it's meant to not do, like, all the effects on death, but apparently it uh, did that one before. Because it's really funny with, uh, I think I've had it with, with, what's his name, the vampire guy. Um, oh, I'm blanking on his name. The guy that, like, explodes when he dies. Um, I've had him, like, I guess there's two vampire guys now. In fact, yeah, that's kind of funny. It's both the vampire guys that have the bug. But he, like, explodes on death. What is his name? Um... Jory, that's right. That's right, the boss level. Yeah, Jory. Yeah, he explodes on death, and he does that, um... When he, when he gets past fight, he goes up staircases as well, which is hilarious. Um... What is that? Is there nothing good? Mad you read yet? Nah, that's pretty useless for me. Unless I can stack with my current amulet, which I can't. Unfortunately. I mean, there's kind of, there's vaguely like two vampire uniques, but he is also an orc. So I guess not quite the same. Ooh. What do I do against a two-headed orc? I mean, I can buy burst it. Not massively effective. Bring out the spiders. Oh, I didn't get a lot of spiders, did I? Um... Hmm. I mean, it worked eventually, but I don't know, because there could be more of those orcs around. No orcs, what am I saying? Two-headed ogres. Okay, let me just, just quickly retreat up to the staircase and bring one of these orcs up with me. There we go. Because I do really well against, like, 1v1 fights with most creatures. Whoa, those are tough. Um, I'll leave the slime creatures for now. I'll probably end up coming back and fighting them, but I don't want to fight them, like, with all the other stuff. Oh, no. 
Do I, oh, he has a spectral weapon? I didn't even notice this weapon was anything magic. Um, I'm definitely putting on the fiery armor. Hopefully that's fine. There we go. They killed him. Uh, I think the bug with those has been fixed, but spectral weapons still terrify me. Like, they're still not something you want to be hit with. I just got a revelations. All right. Yeah, I just thought this guy... Hopefully he noticed me and hopefully I can just bring back this one slime creature. Wait, what? Oh, they both noticed. Uh, um... Alright, well that's fine. I'll just bring one of them upstairs. Oh, they merged. Oh, come on. I just wanted to separate them because the slime creatures are recently tough at this point in the game. Oh, there's gonna be... What's his name? Um, a meme on around here. Uh oh. Let's kill this guy. Uh huh. He's got himself a scorpion, so do I have teleport? Got like four teleport. But I actually haven't summoned any scorpions yet. Oh, there he goes. But I should be able to beat him back to the staircase. I don't actually want to find a main one because I don't have the poison for this. I mean, I could maybe lignify or something. Oh, the good old obsidian axe for like 3,000 gold. I'm never going to afford that one. Not that I really want an obsidian axe anyway. Alright. There we go. One slime creature dealt with. Oh, wow. There's a lot of them. Uh... All right, there's a second one dealt with. Um... I think that's the only one that's noticed me. Good. I noticed there's at least one more of these slime creatures. There it is. Oh, and it's the main one. Right. I might just call this level done and go down to the uh, just say case. Leave a babe on B instead of tempting fate and going after him. Oh, it's a two headed ogre again. Um Nope, that's not working. Really I guess I'll put on some fiery armor. Uh-huh. Oh, is, uh, is this a real person? No, this looks like a bot in chat. Do I want to buy some viewers? No thanks. How do I ban this person? I'm sure this is there a bot in here to, like, click to ban them. There we go. Get out of here, bot. Alright, no spamming my chat. Oh, wow, Death Yak. Um, I don't have any Curari here. Hmm. I bring it back towards the staircase a bit, but then what? What sort of. I don't really have a lot of, like, range stuff. I mean, I guess I can get into, like, a little bit of throwing at some stage, but I don't know. Um. Because I could get it with a poison scroll, but then what? Like, it's not going to move towards me. Oh, it is. Okay, well, that's fine then. I could probably just kill it. Yeah, I mean, it being poison that made such a big difference. Hmm, I'm just gonna back up. I don't think I can keep my health going through that entire fight. Oh, right, this level. How do I get to... Hmm. Not sure about getting to another staircase here. Whoa. That's not what I want to see. Oh, I'm gonna have to put on my fiery armor. I'm getting low on the piety, though. Oh, I'm gonna drink some sort of healing. Yeah, I think I drink the proper healing potion, because otherwise this guy's gonna slaughter me. Alright, well, I can take another staircase down at least, and then maybe I can find a proper way down. I just got a crystal spear, sun spell, and I got plenty of sun scrolls. Oh, this guy's absolutely slaughtering me. I'm gonna drink a little bit of curing. Hmm. I don't feel ready to go to the lag, because I've had uh, various lag creatures like that. Um. I like how some sort of frog guy do a lot of damage to me. Oh, the serpent talisman. Those are alright. Doesn't work with my shield, but maybe it's alright. Um, yeah, it's my best of two-headed ogre. 
My sack of spine is it. There we go. Okay. I probably should have run straight up to that identified scroll. I should have been a bit more careful, but anyway, it's fine. Nothing came along with the running towards it. Oh, no, no, two headed ogre. Come on. Okay. I might bust this one as well, I guess. Um, I'm not killing it as well as I'd like. Ah, can I just step back once? Sure, but now what? It's almost there, but that doesn't help me out a lot, does it? Um, I could probably kill him with a fox by a swarm. Is there anything else we can get this guy? You do a heal wounds. Oh, I guess I'll fox by a swarm, but I got riled with god abilities. I mean, it killed it, but look at that, out of piety. Already, I haven't even gone to the lag yet. I just gotta run up to this guy. It's not like a corner I can hide around or anything. All right. Uh, well, at least I got a healing potion. I will go down one more level because I know I'm going to struggle down the lair if I just keep on going. Well, if I go down to the lair because I fought like uh, cane toads and stuff. Um, hmm, okay. There's close distance to these sandals, should be fine. Whoa, whoops. Myself marked there. Uh, this guy's going to get free stabs at me, but I think it's worth running. Yeah, he's not doing a whole lot, so I can just get to the staircase, go up, there we go. Mounting, ooh, mounting archway's nearby, that sounds good. Mm, still no, like, uh, Hirari, right? Could be a problem with things like that, border beetle. Very nearby. I should just like pop around any corner. There we go and see the ice cave. I don't know if I've got any conferences though. <laughs> Which is not right. Uh oh. I'm getting beat up here. Alright. I just need to drop. I mean, the magic region, I guess. Noise, I guess. All right, that's mm, something. I think I got plenty of inventory space. I'll go in, but oh no, there's no way I can get like no, no it's not gonna work. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go out because it has simulacrums and I've got no cold so That's never gonna work. There's like zero percent chance of that working. Um, hmm. Oh well, I effectively did get an ice cave just because no rings of ice spawned. There's probably what's the name, but uh, Josephine, I think. The person that's surrounded by race, the naked red's the person. Let's try to bring some of her race back, because they're kind of nasty with the ability to slow you and stuff. There she is. I gotta actually run her all the way back to a staircase. Oh, ow. I know it's just negative, but there's nothing you can do about that. Because if I had it on a rig, I'd already have the rig on. Mm, okay, let's try and bring in a bit closer. There we go, that's better. Uh, what do I want to get? I'm actually going to get a little bit more throwing. So I kind of do want some sort of ranged option. Whoa. I'm in trouble, I just berserk this troll. Uh oh. Please work. Oh, thank goodness. I don't think I really had a lot of options there. Um, I don't know. What are these? That's a that's a full night. Nojo's definitely gonna kill me if I stick around. I'm gonna have to teleport out. Ow. All right. Well. Hmm. I guess it's lad time. Do I? I know about the lad. Do good. Yeah, because definitely not. I don't have any resist negative for fighting Nojo, and also a summons could surround me. Alright. Should 
try to split things up as much as I can. It's like pulling things back and stuff. All right. Uh, poison scroll, sure. What talismans do I have? The flux one and the serpent one, they both mount my shield, but uh, a serpent one would probably be the best choice out of those two ones. I seem to remember being alright. It's got poison resist at least. Um, I think it's a little bit healthier than just running around without a form as well. That'll stop you throwing, so my skill, oh no. Just reason great for it. Um, I think I gotta drink a healing potion. Okay. This is quite what I think I did go berserk up and just hit the guy. There we go. That's a lot of roots, is unfortunately only three charges on it. But at least it's something to keep me going with these ones. Um All right, well, I'm going down another staircase, although it's not too bad. Ooh, hold on. I know fire goblins. This is actually really bad. Um, yeah, I don't think I can really fight those guys so well. Oh, once well, I should have just gone up. Oh, go up now. I'm getting absolutely frozen to death here. So this guy a little bit closer. I guess this is close. I'm getting it. Alright, got some paralysis. Oh, there's a Hydra. Uh oh, okay. Um Can I paralyze it? Probably not, right? 17%, maybe. Do it by vulnerability, and then I'll try my paralysis on it. Hey, it worked, okay. There we go. That makes that easy. At least it'll just avoid a Hydra as well, but could have problems with future ones of those because I don't have any vulnerability left anymore. Oh, what's your plan? I'm playing some uh, Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup here, Flying Ladius. Oh. Trying to survive, but unfortunately, oh, do you mean like the combo? This is an Octopode Cinder Acolyte. And hopefully, not gonna die, but I feel like these are kind of questionable combo, at least for me anyway. Until I get a get a good form going. Um I gotta i I'm definitely thinking about like the serpent form. So it comes with uh, a little bit of AC. Don't know how much it'll be, probably around eight or something. Send magic lights an odd choice. I mean I might stop the throwing. It's something. Try the shape shifting, it's ten right. I mean, yeah, it doesn't like that you have a lot of decks or anything, but it does kind of keep you alive early game. Well, it did until I round the piety. And then you can go spot to Jeeva or something, which is my plan to go Jeeva. Oh, come on. Come on, frog. But yeah, I've done a, done a decent number of the, like, sort of shape shifty type bug pods. This is one of the few ones I had left. Hmm. Oh, I look at this guy. What can I do to it? I can bring out some spiders, I guess. Jeeva is a good choice. Yeah, I feel like I got my first octopus win with Jeeva, I think. Probably. Oh, hey, Sonia. She woke up. She's got distortion, too. I gotta throw some roots out. I don't know if she slowed me. Okay, but I can mind buster at least, because he's not got very good willpower. There we go. And I should get some curari now, which is great. There we go. Five curari tipped starts to help keep me alive. It'll probably help when I find some death yanks or something, because at least those can be curari if nothing else. Um, I don't think Malia noticed me yet. There we go. It's noticed me. But that means, oh, so the entrance of the spider's nest. I was wondering why there was a melee on this level. All 
All right, how's the how's the foam going? It's about halfway there, I think. Skill slash is kind of weird. Yeah, it is kind of weird, unfortunately, because um, I really don't know if this foam is going to be helpful. But hey, eventually it will be good. Um, I mean, yeah, we'll see. I got dragon school. That's unfortunately not going to help me. But yeah, I mean, I needed the shields early on to keep me alive because the shield is one of the few things keep me alive. But it's not going to make any sense when I get the um, form going. I really wasn't sure if I was going to get that form or not. Alright, I'll bring one of these guys up. There we go. Should be more of these little hell rats. And the hell rats, like, when they come in those swamps like that, the damage definitely adds up, so you gotta be a bit careful. Alright. That staircase is looking kinda bad. In fact, that means both those staircases are looking kinda bad. Oh, oh, come on. Right, let's see. Mm. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Ah. They're just trying to peek the staircase. I mean, it's okay. Fortunately, there's so many elephants. Yeah, they're going to push me off the staircase. It was inevitable that they pushed me off eventually. Um, I could have said some of these guys are poisoned, but I'm probably going to have to teleport out, unfortunately. Eventually, we'll see. Oh, don't go back to all the elephants. I mean, all three of them had the elephants. Uh, I guess this one would have been a slightly better choice. But yeah, unfortunately, all three of my staircases... We're looking like elephant ones. I can't blow these guys up with fire. I know maybe I can. Ooh. Oh. Mm. Mm. I think that actually works. I might do it. Okay. Guess so. I'll just let that guy move up to me, I think. Yeah, I'm definitely making the most of my Ignis fire resist there. Oh, hey, finally a ring. Detriment cold. Oh, a Dex one as well. All right, well, I can use both of those definitely. Um, yeah, the Dex is actually beginning to make a bit of a difference. I got reflect. I think I'll keep with my Spirit Guardian Strength one. Okay, like, there's uh, enough strength to make quite a bit of difference. I don't think I've got useful any magic points yet, so Spirit Guardian is still pretty useful. Okay. Actually, I should be throwing at this guy before he gets up to me, because I can still do that. I haven't gotten to a form that can't throw yet. Uh oh. It's a Hydra? Okay. Um. Can I just kill this guy? There we go. I'm not worried because there's another dream sheep. Um, I don't want that to put me to sleep and then die to the Hydra or something. What can I do to this Hydra? Might be able to paralyze it, but I don't have the vulnerability, do I? Hmm. I might just be able to avoid it. That was another one. Okay. Throwing's kind of doing the trick, but I'm probably going to have to pop the spiders anyway. Oh, well. They don't last anywhere as long as I'd like them to. Uh huh. My full health. What do I have here that could help me against this one? It's, uh, it's another seven headed Hydra, unfortunately. The Curare is not going to work. Poison Scroll's not going to work. Um, I can throw stuff at it. Get all the roots and then throw some more stuff at it. Alright, there we go. That's why I'm kind of worried about when I get into the serpent form and won't be able to throw anymore. That the hydras could be really bad. I guess I might just be able to lignify or something. We'll see. Oh, this guy's going to need me to lignify. It's already mined itself up. Next step is it going berserk, which would definitely kill me. Okay, come on, Merfolk, run back a little bit. Ah, uh, the shoals, so that's not a surprise. Oh, we dropped a level to level 4 of the lair. I do see an alarm trap, but no thing looks like it's going to stand on it right away. I'll just magic map. Okay. Uh, 
Mm, that's fine. Why just back up a bit? My plan is that I'll just back up here and then I'll just dig in and hope for the best. That looks fine. I could lignify if I wanted to. In fact, I might just lignify here. Just um, get me a bit of protection until I kill these guys, I think. I think Flux Bomb uh, gives them extra evasion if you have uh, same shape shifting. Yeah, but it also stops me like throwing. It stops me using my shield. So I lose like 12 shield value to gain, I don't know, like 4 evasion or something. Oh, look at all the executions, X. So, I don't know. I mean, it does do extra damage, so it might be alright, but I think I'd rather the shield. I think it's gonna go up. Oh, that was a mistake. That's not a teleport. Okay, there we go. That got me out of the spot. Ah, it's mined up. Oh, it's my last lignification gone. Hopefully this is my last Sky Shark then, if that's the case. That's probably better to, without the form for now. Yeah, I was gonna try the Serpent one, because I got the skill. You know what, let's give that a try now. But hopefully this is a big mistake. So get more health. Get more damage. I, I don't think I was on 30-something damage before. I do lose more, um, I even lose a little bit of... Okay, so I, I kind of swap out the shield for AC. I mean, and I guess that's okay. Um... I'm pretty sure he still constricts things, although maybe elephants are too big for that, because I thought the same form still constricted. Uh, okay, I'll get, a, I'll get a little bit of evocation. It's just like first four points or something. Uh, I don't care about that long sword. That's fine. I think this form's uh, doing something for me at least. What do I actually want? Like, uh, do I just get more fighting to like fifteen or something? An arm to like fifteen or something? I guess I get a little bit more skill. The talismans bring up to thirteen. That way, if I find like a statue form or something, I can get it going pretty much immediately. Uh, I can just back up a little bit, get to this choke point, and then I can kill those guys that are around me. Oh, you think you're with the unarmed fighting and dodging? I mean, those are definitely good skills to go with. Oh, no, no gem roller. Oh, hmm. That's kind of bad. I wouldn't have minded some jiva. Okay, if I don't have a gem roller, what am I going to do? Because I don't think I should just dive down the slide, but that would be a terrible idea. I mean, I know some people do that to grab their gem roller, but... Oh, well. I think Godric is pretty good. It is pretty good, although the Serpent form, I think, reduces the effect slightly. Uh, I still got, like, 10 of it, and that was definitely very worthwhile when I got it before. I don't know. I might be able to get a bit more. See how much difference it does make. Once I get to, like, a Savage form, I'll definitely be getting dodging. Um, I got some, some Hydra and Sublimation of Blood or something for the Book of Blood. Do I still have the fire of this, right? Because I've got the one from Ignis. Be fairly hard to end up with, like, no fire of this with Ignis. I mean, I suppose you could. Oh, that's a full of fire dragon. I wish you could have something that reduced it. Hold up. It's, um, it is poison resist. Just take because otherwise the cure are in. I could bring out the spiders. But I think it's just going to die. Do I have to fly to get that stuff? Manual stuffs. At least I don't really need the manual. Hmm. Oh, this is the place with a ring of fire, but I had to get through... Ryosi's ghost. Go um, they have Vinesuka of Okawaru. Vinesuka fighting. I mean, they don't look too bad. Uh, all the cold guys look bad because I still don't have the cold resist, do I? Don't have any rings of ice or anything, so I think I just leave those until I get some sort of cold resist. Oh, the potion with the arrow? Wait, with the arrow? Oh, the arrow pointing outwards, like the enlightenment one. Yeah, I suppose I could spend an enlightenment, but the manual doesn't look that helpful. Uh, I mean... I don't know, I suppose I could definitely do it if I wanted to. Think grabs the manual, wasn't it a staff though? 
Like, this character's never gonna be using stuffs. That's a lot of these dream sheep. I'll bring two of them up. Uh, it's a pretty sure it's stuff, so it should be able to go check again, but it looked like, uh, I think it said it was. I mean, it potentially, yes, yeah, manual stuffs. Potentially, there's items hiding in those areas. And vulnerability could be okay, so, I don't know. Oh, whoa, whoa. Don't go back down the staircase. In fact, there's only one staircase I can go down. Uh, the unexplored one, because uh, my two staircases lead to the same spot. Oh no, it's berserk already. I bring all the spiders, but this is kind of bad. Uh, it's believe I'm out of lignification. Yeah, I am, so I can't exactly stop those sky strikes going berserk. Oh, okay. If I step back, they're good. I don't think the Hydra noticed me. Good. Now we can get rid of the Dream Sheep. Excellent. I still don't know exactly what I'm going to do against that Hydra because I don't, I can't throw it at it. Oh, well. Hmm. No, like, proper choke points around here. There's, like, little patches that could almost be choke points, but... Mm. Fine, I'll take an almost choke point, I guess. And, of course, the guys were, like, smart enough to even surround me. Okay, it's an eight his Hydra. I can grab it. I can get it with a mind burst that spawns. Oh, please work. 50% chance of working each time. Oh, it didn't. Right, how about I resist? Oh, I do have cold resist now because I got the ring of that. Got a fire resist from Magnus. So I got a poison resist from my form. So I kind of get the basic resist in here, which is pretty nice. Um, I can probably just find a six headed Hydra. Yeah, it's not like eight headed or something. Oh god, the ending with all the creatures. This one's not too bad. Like, the one with all the, I don't know, like, cows and stuff. I might, um... I might just do the rest of the level before I come back for that one, though. Because there's usually so many creatures in there. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, and I've got a separate one here. I've got the one with the dragons in it. I mean, that one's probably fine, but again, I'll do the rest of the level before I come back for it. Okay, well, there wasn't really a rest of the level, so let me just go fight the dragons, I think. So there should be a poison dragon, and uh, is it just usually like a fire dragon or something in here? Oh, well, apparently it's acid dragons today. Uh... I guess we've got some potion resistance in case I need like an extra fire resist or something. And I've got Ambrosia. Excellent. Hey, there's a fire dragon. There should be a poison dragon with it somewhere though. I'll just bring the fire dragon around the corner and kill that one though. Oh, interesting. It drops of water, like it scales in the water that it can actually pick up. I guess because of an octopus, those can swim, right? Because there's merfolk also do that, where you can grab the items from deep water. Alright. Well, I'll add exclude the area I've got excluded. All the bears and... I mean, it's mainly like the firehouse, the hellhouse, I think, are one of the tougher things in here. Well, it's nice, you hate when you lose some scales over deep water. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter with this character, because I can't wear scales, but it's always the worst when you lose something good over deep water that your character can actually use. Especially, like, if you have a throwing character and there's, like, some more javelins and you kill them over deep water in the shoals or something. Like, well, goodbye, javelins.
Glad that obviously like uh, it didn't come along when there was lots of creatures and stuff. Because sometimes they love to hide behind a bunch of creatures just sitting there. Oh, you're not going to switch to Jeeves and then all the... Oh, is this a little bit of wasted party? Yeah, I should be thinking about switching soon. Oh, usually I do leave, uh, do leave lair, don't I? Oh, I probably should have switched before, but that's fine. I might get some decks. I'll help, help the evasion. Um... Do I have a rig of fire resist anywhere? I mean, it doesn't really matter. I gotta finish this area off, because it has the Hellhog and stuff, and I think I killed the Hellhog already, but... It's just too many, uh, fire guys here. But yeah, you're right, I should be switching God soon. I'm just not sure which God I want to go with. Entirely. Um... There's definitely a number of choices. Let me go uh, check what I found. I found all the gods, haven't I, apart from Maclip. Could I just go with Gozag? I could go with... Um... Oh, this is another god. I mean, I could always go with Chabriados. I could go with Templic one. I mean, there's definitely options here that would work fairly well. I think Wujian is nice. It requires no invocation. On oh, Shrog 2. Yeah, I don't know. Not massively feeling in the mood for Trog, but maybe. Wujin could be nice. Which got those, those those offenses ones? Hey, they are too. Unfortunately, don't fit on my well, either my snake form or my octopod form. Uh. They become a kung fu snake. I mean, why not? Let's do it. Um, whoops, that's the wrong menu. Uh, I know there is one. I think it's just capital G and then the underscore, right? Like, it's like to God. Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go Wu Jin. Can I just get one of these guys back to a staircase? I think I can. This looks like there's a way I can just run around here. I probably should kill these death yanks. I think death yanks are worth a decent amount of XP. Alright, there we go. Let's continue on my merry way. There's a Wujian altar. Oh, you can control F. Yeah, I mean, that works for the altars as well. That's probably like just as quick as well. Ban and Ignis? Yeah, sure thing. Uh, now I need to go to the Orcish Mines. Maybe should have cleared out the first level of the Orcish Mines before I abandoned Ignis. Yeah, that's fine though. Just means I can like be sharp and stuff. Um Have I found anything of fire resist? I don't think so. Not that I can have fire resist till I um Works my wrath anyway. Oh, I think this hmm. might be a good spot to run back a little. Wow. That's a lot of smiting. I mean, I guess I didn't take the most efficient way back to the staircase. I might just get all my health back. I'm just trying to pull some of these guys up, separate it out from the priests. All right, now I can go to second state level. I think I've got all three. Yeah, I've got all three staircases, even an extra escape hatch. Should I need that? Uh... Hmm. I like to look at that staircase. This has got tons of stuff around it. I mean, so does that one. It's got the whole pole up night. Just sitting there whacking me at a range. Oh, jaw run. Can't he, like, uh, petrify me of 55%? I do have a potion to make that not as bad. Um, but I think I might just do my other option, which is a scroll of silence. There we go. No problems at all. Killing him. Oh, confused. Do you have some curing? Oh, again? 
I mean, I guess, uh, I guess the Agnes Wrath does do confusion often. And unfortunately, I really don't think I can fight these fire elementals while confused. Oh, come on. I thought I'd bring one of these priests or something upstairs. Don't want them all surrounding my staircase. One time you sus, Joe Grant, he beat you to death with stuff. Yeah, I think I've had that before. Like, I had a character who wasn't, like, massively tough at melee. And since they got beaten to death, it's kind of a shame when that happens. But usually you can take him out when he's silenced. Uh oh, I think I'm fine fighting this troll, though. But I think I might just go to another one of these staircases. Building up too many arches around that one staircase. It's all the it's all the uh, same arches, I believe, coming down the staircase as well. Oh, good, a jewelry shop. That's always a good sign because, well, I can buy something useful for it. Either a ring, an amulet. I think I've already got an amulet. It's all right. Um, hold on, the quark sack. Come on, just disappear the quark sack. There we go. Or maybe even a form. I mean, it's got all the good stuff in the jewelry shops. It's got to fight my way to it. Hmm. I guess I go back to it. Oh, I guess I go back to one of the other staircases because I did get marked. Um, I'm not sure about that one though. Okay. Hmm. I probably tried enough, well, uh, enough of the stuff away from that initial staircase that I could go back to it, like the, this one down here. How are the skills going? Oh, they're making progress. Shape shifting's on 12. I don't know, the other, the fighting skills are on 12 as well. Oh, no. Um... I can't serpent slash just yet. Okay, I might drop a fear then. Yeah, that was pretty bad. Just getting paralyzed, but I don't think I'm gonna bring a willpower or anything lying around. Oh, you think I should do fear as well? Yeah, I mean it was kind of the obvious thing, but I was just surrounded by um enemies on kind of low health. It's a good thing I had some fear, because that would be kind of terrifying without the fear. Uh... Oh, there was a frail, like, a uh, warlord? Yeah. I mean, I do decent damage, but yeah, usually they're a little bit tougher than that. I didn't even have to pull out any consumables or anything for that one. Alright, let's finally check on the jewelry shop. So there's a... Oh, there's a dragon blood talisman. I kind of want to become a dragon. I mean, they're not, maybe not something I'll stay with permanently. There's also a fire this ring. Or this corrosion ring. Alright, well, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, like, dragon myself up. That requires... Is it 16 skill for a dragon talisman? Yeah, okay. Well, let's just get that right now. Um... So I put this on right now. It's 90% health. I mean... Probably quite a little bit less than my current one, isn't it? Yeah, okay, I'll get, a, I'll get a little bit more skill, but I don't think I need to get that much more skill before I swap over. Um, I'll probably need to get some more stuff and cold resist, though, if I'm gonna go with a dragon form. I've got my dragon form for quite some time. Oh, we have to fear not having fear. <laughs> At least with this character, I don't have to fear that too much, because I've, uh, what, got like four left or something, I think? Yeah, I got four. Oh, Alright, yeah, I'll bring this guy back just a little bit. I kind of tried to just to try the dragon form. So I do 40 damage. The dragon form. Wait, is this a, is this a funny little long to dragon? I do 60 something damage. Uh, I lose a bit of evasion though, don't I? To get the bite of the tail slap, I'm not sure about this just yet. Obviously, once I actually get the proper skill to use it, it's going to be better. 
This little Octo Dragon looks so funny. It looks almost like a little spider. Uh oh. Apparently, still don't have any willpower. Um. Yeah, okay, I don't have as good a resist, so do I? I lose a cold resist with this one. So I get the fire resist eventually once I work through my Agnes Wrath, I guess. Uh, nothing useful there, it's just an armor shop. No, unfortunately, not another jewelry shop. I got Woo Pidgey, wait, can I? Yeah, but I still can't do a lot with my Pidgey yet, can I? Um, I mean, I guess I can, like, uh, do my whirlwind attacks and stuff. I think I'm done with here, aren't I? Okay, well, I guess I get the resist corrosion. I probably don't need the resist fire right now, because I should get that anyway. Um, is there anything else I want to, like, get? I don't think there was too much. I guess I could go buy the telepod, because that's, oh, I can buy the roots as well, actually. There we go. Um, dungeon level. I don't think I just got that far in the dungeon. Let's go to the dungeon. Yeah, because I, I think I got scared off by Nigel before and ran away back before I did the lair. And then I went to the August Mines because I was going to get shafted by Ignis, so I didn't really want to be in the dungeon. But I think I can still be shafted by Ignis right now. Uh, oh, well. Yep, there we go. Got shafted by Ignis. No surprises there. Let's try and find a way up. Oh, there we oh no. That's way too many Malia. Um. Hmm. They technically are affected by sounds, but do I actually want to do that? Maybe a fog, maybe. Are they affected by fear? They are affected by fear. I think I fear them up and then I dump some poison on the remaining ones. Oh, they all ran away anyway. Alright, well that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I was just way too many of them in one spot. Uh, yeah, fog would have helped for a little while. Hey, there we go, Agnes Wrath's gone. I finally got some fire resist. That's a lot of these guys, but I can't really go to a choke point. Because otherwise they'll all merge up into one horrible titanic slime creature that could... I guess it could quite one-hit me, but it could get pretty close to one-hitting me if I made a titanic slime creature. Most I should have just run up to that guy, it's fine. So they would have got like a Wujian Serpent Slash attack against it. Not Serpent Slash, uh, Lunge attack. Or do you need these choke points when you have Kung Fu exactly? It was really nice just being able to hit up a bunch of stuff. Okay. One of those staircases was kind of nearby, right? Like this one here. I might just be able to like sneak up to the arch. Oh, we move back, really? I don't know I was going to pop down that staircase. I guess it was just kind of moving around randomly or something. Maybe our Dragon Breath? I wonder how much damage that does. I should remember about that one. I gotta try it on... Oh, uh, wait. With the Dragon Breath, I think it... Oh, it killed the guy anyway. I think it makes sense to, like, get up to things and then set them in the fire, right? I seem to remember that being a fairly sensible thing to do. Also, it's gonna it's gonna annoy me later, so I'm gonna kill these plants because it's gonna keep on telling me about a place I can't reach. Um just spiders. I think I can kill those. Uh well, was this a mistake? Oh, this might have been a mistake. It might teleport out. Um can I finally do my seven slash just three pips of piety, but I can do a wall jump now. Hmm. It's not like I even need this hat, even though it looks really fancy. Whoa, what's up with these guys? Oh, they're on the dispersal traps, I see. 
Huh. I might come back for that. Uh, there does look like some good items in here. There's also someone else's ghost in here. That looks like a Naga. There's Cow Cow's ghost. They are, in fact, a Naga, Earth Elemental, of Che, this Stone Arrow. I see. <laughs> I don't think I get my little well with the tanks, unfortunately, when I'm running around confused like that, which is a little bit of a shame. That's why damage, it must be doing fairly well, 65. Yeah, I mean, Dragon Form definitely doesn't do as much damage as it used to, but it still does pretty good damage. Uh, especially with, like, its auxiliary attacks and stuff. Alright, well, I do want to fight these guys. I think this is fine. Um, I got good fire resist, so I think I just pop over this area with the lid worms. Um, hmm, this is all right. Of course, I keep on making use of the store to like heal myself up, which makes sense. All right. What? Why is that travel excluded? Oh, I guess because it's burning up or something. So we've got magic, media, cold resist, intelligence. I mean, it is cold resist, which is something I do need. I've got the strength spirit guardian right now. I don't really need the magic regen just yet, do I? So I need to get... I mean, Manifold Soul's like super high level now, and I don't think I've actually got it um, anywhere. I put Dragon Breath on the Quiver. I mean, those uh, boomerangs I've got right now aren't really doing it. I think, oh, I've got Seven Slash unlocked as well. Nice. This guy doable... It does. Okay, it's got a stone arrow. No, I think I might leave it be with a stone arrow. It can do quite a lot of damage with that one. Might ever gonna have a useful as a charge armors. I mean, maybe. If I ever get back to, like, statue form or something, I maybe will. Because then I can charge up a shield. Also, I think I'm gonna try to throw it around here somewhere. Um, I think the right thing to do here is actually walk all the way back to a staircase, swap ambulance, then fight this guy. Hold on, does it? It does open doors, right? Yeah, it does. I don't know, the ghost always just needs to walk straight through them, but that would be, uh, kind of strange. All right, let's keep it backing up. Alright, there we go. Cold resist. I don't know. I kind of tempted to just to leave this one on. It's just, uh, how much damage do I lose? I actually don't lose too much. I lose like five damage. I guess that's a reason well to lose. I don't know. I think just breathe fire in it. Actually, that might have done quite a bit of damage. Probably should have. Oh, seven potions of haste, really? I probably don't even have seven potions of haste. I have like three potions of haste. I'm not going to give my entire supply of haste to that. Got a book of death. Uh, if I want horned enemy dead infestation, Marta is no enemy dead dreadful rot. These are all necromancy stuff, aren't they? Curse of Agni vampire grating necrotize. It's a uh, Yasugag's sacrilege store. Oh yeah, with all the unholy stuff. You know what? I should try. Oh, stand anyway. I should try doing my breath. Oh, was I did that wrong? Um. Wait, did the breath get reworked when the Draconian breath got reworked? How's that? I don't know. How does that even work? I haven't played like a Draconian forever. That's not putting down a, like a thing of fire that sits around permanently. Right. No. That's different from before because I'm sure there used to be like a cloud of fire. I think I need to drink a potion here. I need to get some willpower otherwise I'm going to the abyss. Um... Still like 70%. Alright. Let's 
shame I'm doing the like, just sub and slash up to this guy. But I gotta close the distance, otherwise he's gonna shoot me down. Oh, an acquirement. Yes, I do want that. There's also some teleports. Uh, what else is this? Maybe one day I'll get the silence of the identify. But I'll just save up for that acquirement. It's only 800 gold, right? I need only 200 more gold. Shouldn't take too long to get it. Oh, you think the only Draconian carried their new breath to dragon form? Everyone else is the old breath? Right, but this isn't quite the same as what dragons used to be doing with their breath. Uh... Because I definitely remember, like, setting creatures in clouds. Be the thing that I do a lot. I don't think that was just with the draconian breath. I think it was with the dragon breath as well. Or maybe I'm just thinking of the old draconian breath. Okay, I'm about that, you magic flail. It is plus seven, but it's not going to be useful for a dragon. Oh, it's a. Uh... I got a drinking willpower, don't I? I've got other ones that are going to get banished. Did I just pick up another one? Because apparently I've still got quite a few of those. I mean, the other option was to ride Serpent Slash the guy and hope I managed to, like, kill it before it got a chance to even do an action. Hmm. I'm going to Serpent Slash these guys because I'm feeling kind of low in health. I might throw in a healing potion because I know these guys can do quite a lot with their false lads. So I don't want to be within one shot range of that guy. All right, well, dungeon's done. Um, Orcish Mines is done. I think Lair is done. I've got the Spiders of the Shoals to go to. Um. I think I head to the shoals. I don't like the spider's nest. It's not entirely sure of this. Because half the creatures in here are going to be faster than me. Ooh. So I don't have a lot of protection from anything that's ranged in here, which is quite a lot of the stuff. Shoals with cold resist? Yeah, I th I've got the cold resist. So I won't be absolutely killed by one of the Aqua advances or anything, thankfully. Hey, Nicola. Uh huh. I think I uh, just saw some. I don't like how the guys are coming along. I really don't like how the guys are coming along because I won't be able to like teleport out or anything. Um. Okay, can I just get back to the staircase before anything else comes along? There we go, thankfully. Could just go back to the staircase. I think like a potion of resistance to try and resist his electrocution. I mean, that's alright, I guess. Um, Yeah, it would have been I would have to silence myself up at least. So what's getting any dodging right now? I'm not sure if it is. I bring the evocation up just a little bit as well. Um... I still do have that wand of uh, roots, right? In fact, I've got quite a few wands of roots. Oh, there's another guy. I just got to get a little bit closer so I get the fast attack. Should pull this guy back as well. There we go. Oh, is that. No, it's just a weapon shop. I was hoping for some jewelry shops because I think I'm still missing quite a few um items for my jewelry. I think that's my amnesia scroll shop sure, or whatever. I don't think I've got any uh rings. There's a demon trident venom. I mean obviously that trident would be good for a character that use tridents, but that's not me. I just go slap things with my dragon tentacles. I use the fire for things in water. I probably should use the fire against things in water. I always forget my breath. Like, it's really useful. It can do quite a lot of damage. If I breathe on that guy. I suppose the steam did, like, block me from being able to see it. But, hey, it's fine. Do I have lots of flame? I thought I did right. So I got those as well to make steam. Uh, oh! Oh, that's not fine. 
I thought, okay, I got lots of fire resistance, this should be fine, but nope, it was not. Um, oh, they're actually mainly physical, though they do throw a decent amount of fire as well. Uh, you think blank? Maybe. Um, I'm gonna run back. I'm gonna start a teleport. Mm, maybe I should have blinked. I think a healing potion, but yeah. Okay, there we go. Got out of there. Wow, those guys were doing so much to me. Um. Okay, well. Can I split them up just to, like, get one of the guys? There we go. That's better. There should be another sun demon around here somewhere as well. I don't want to leave it on this level. Just like you around for me to bump into. I don't know where it could have gone though. Uh, was it to like that's how you unexplore a level? Ooh, I'm mesmerized. Um, currently fine. Just watching out for things that are coming along though when I mesmerize. What's it got? It's got a distortion. Hmm. I don't trust that, so I'm gonna surface slash it. There we go. That did the trick. Oh, uh no. I don't like where the shaft has put me at all. Um <laughs> I could do a fear, but then watch. Um, got blinking, but I don't see a staircase. I might start with a fear. Use the wood, you zomb. Um, I don't think I've even unlocked that one yet. You gotta do a revelations. Okay. The staircase is down there, I see. I can't blink to it, I don't know where it leads. Um, Digs of Haste? That might... Mm, that's an option. Let me think about that. Uh... But they could definitely blink to the staircase. They could do another fear and just try and run. I totally could haste and try and run. Uh, fear's not this, they're gonna work with that guy. I think I'm gonna try fear. And then try and run, see how that works. Uh huh. I still got 50 health, but there is this one shark here. Is there... I mean, I can maybe take that out of range. I'm not sure exactly what items I got, but I can... Oh, the roots are not working. I don't know. Probably with this guy here, so they can, like, uh, would have strike me, so I might just... Drink a healing potion so they can't one-shot me with a with a strike or anything. All right, what's this ring? It's very vivage, and that sounds useful at least, because they can definitely put it on. I should be able to get to the staircase. There we go, and now I should be able to get my health back. Okay. I'm not sure if that was the best way to recover from that, um, shaft or not. Uh, oh, that was sense. Yeah, I mean, it, uh, at least I got out of the situation. Don't want to splat another one of my octopodes because I had one yesterday was going pretty well, and then I, I think I splatted the elven horse to a couple of bad telepods that put me in the center of all the tough elves. That's a little bit of a shame. All right, what do I want to get? Oh wait, that was uh, that was not my skills reaching the target. I definitely just want to get fighting at the moment.
<sighs> Stop by trying to breathe some fire in this game, but I'm, yeah, probably just gonna have to run up to it despite the barbs. Um, I reckon I could just take barb damage and move back to the staircase. Hmm. Could be entirely wrong about that. The barbs are certainly lasting a long time, which is a bit of a shame. I was thinking they'd probably wear off like part way through moving, but nope. Ow. I mean, I can throw in a bit of serpent slash at spawns. Yeah, but it doesn't kill everything, does it? Um, I'm gonna throw in some spiders. What now? So I've got these guys kind of behind my spiders. I might just back up just a little bit. There we go. Polyphemus is dead. This guy can sling things at me, so I might try and finish that off with a little bit of mind burst. Oh, there's one over here as well, but I'll try and finish this one off. There we go. Now I can go upstairs. I don't think the Bob's counter goes down when moving. Huh. I'll have to look into that, because maybe it doesn't. If it doesn't go down while moving, then... <laughs> Right. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, it does, but at 33% of the rate instead of going down to the normal rate. I think I should have, uh, like, do some steam to break fish. I suppose I could have if I wanted to no longer be, um, affected by that guy's mesmerize. That doesn't quite work. Gotta hope I can, like, get both of those guys so I can tend them at the same time with my, um, attacks. Ooh, those look tough. I'm actually going to bring something back to a staircase, I think. They were split the um, impaler from the javelin here. Hmm, I'm going to soften it up with a bit of serpent slash. This, uh, the form we got right now is a fairly good one for that, though. Softening people up with a bit of Servant Slash. Hmm. I think this guy's going to be the same speed as me, so... If I want to fight, I should... Oh, bring around this corner. There's another guy there. Can I block this guy with a bit of steam? Let's see. Why can I breathe fire at it? Is it just out of range or something? Oh, well, I guess I'll use the Wand of Flame. Alright, that's fine. It with all my poison resistance, I still uh, get quite poisoned. I think it's in a... What's the chance of like a poison resist just doing nothing? I know there is a chance that it just does nothing. It's kind of disappointing when it, whenever that happens. I don't quite how I feel about that. It's always nice when your resists actually work. Um. Alright, that's a net that I was expecting to get eventually. Nope, I don't think I fight these guys. I think I just run away. I mean, the merfolk will be able to get up to me, but the rest of those are going to have a bit more trouble. Oh no, it's a javelin here. Um... Hmm. Now it's not really the right time to be seeing a javelin near. Um... I do a little bit of fog, but I'm kind of feeling rather wounded right now. I do a healing potion, but I'm not sure about this. 
L. Oh, I'm really wounded again. I mean, I don't want to use my last healing potion, but maybe I should. Is there anything else? Because I can't really teleport very well because this level's not that explored. <sighs> Might just leave my last healing potion. It's a shame. How many of these guys have noticed me? Um... Apparently quite a lot. You think you'd teleport? I mean, I guess that's fair enough. I guess I've explored, what, um, some of that level. It's hard to tell with the magic map on it, on it. I guess... I don't know. I really don't feel like I'd explored that much of that level. I suppose it could take me to the water around the edge, which has that very little creatures in it. That's true, actually. When you, when you fly the teleport, there's to be a little bit better in the shoals. Uh, can I just block this guy off with like some... Oh, right, I can't breathe the fire that fast. But I might be able to block, block it off with a flaming one. I feel like it's probably a plot in the way, though. <laughs> yeah, okay. Actually, that was fear, which is not as bad. I can just run away anyway. I was dragging for as being uh, surprisingly frail and resilient at the same time. Oh, what's I meant to get my health back? Yeah, I mean, dragging for is very little in the way of defense because it's reducing my evasion. Um, well, my evasion is still all right with the format, I suppose. Although that's probably partly to do with the fact that I've got a ring of evasion on. It does give AC, which is all right. Whoa. Hmm. I think I actually started to teleport then run to the center of this. Oh, maybe I didn't need to teleport after all. I just felt like I was going to get in trouble because there was multiple impalers. Hey, I think I finally unlocked my heavenly storm. Uh, should I need to do that? Oh, there's a kraken. Do I not have any poison scrolls? Oh, I must have used them all. Yeah, because apparently they're identified, so... Uh-huh. Uh... I know I did use a few. I might just back up towards the staircase. Uh-oh. Why am I petrifying? Oh, chaos. I can either do cancellation, but I might just do a teleport. I gotta petrify. It's probably fine. Uh, except it's not, because I'm almost dead. I'm a frail, weak, bad above water that almost died. <laughs> you think cancellation or teleport? Yeah, I tried to teleport. No, um, this does not look good. Where do I blink to? I've got to blink somewhere. Can't get to the staircase because that will get me killed. I should be the same speed as most of these creatures, at least. But wow, that um, that blink oh no, teleport did not get me anywhere. Uh, I should be the same speed, so I should just be able to run. Okay. I think you blinked in haste. I uh, didn't need the haste. Although I guess it could have helped if there were other things that could have come along. Wait, beach you just can't swim? That's kind of funny. I mean, but for... And you're not wounded enough to, like, do a dragon for me either. Oh, this guy's got a ring of cold resist. Um, two cold resist even. One of these guys. Is this one? Hey, there we go. Look at that. It's uh, poison resistance, so important anymore. But the two cold resistance is really nice. That means I can theory swap my amulet back. In fact, I might go back to the Spirit Guardian Strand tablet. There we go. Get a little bit more damage. Got 78 damage. Uh. Going to try and serpent slash here. Oh, wow. She just blew up. Alright, well, she's got, she doesn't even have, a, like, a dragon form on her, which she sometimes does.
I mean, there's even more guys in here. What do I want to get as a skill? I could just get, like, more unarmed and fighting, honestly. And maybe throw, like, a little bit of, uh, dodging. I'll just try bringing out the dodging 14, see if it makes any difference in the dragon form or not. Alright, well, got a book with some horrible things in the light gateway. Kind of makes sense for this little corrupted part of the level to have those. Or is it just you that they buff of eyes? Their spells seem a lot more potent. They changed up the spells they had, right? They didn't used to have... I don't know, they definitely felt more potent since they've had the ability to polymorph people. I'm pretty sure they didn't used to be able to do that, though. That's not entirely wrong with that. I'm pretty sure they didn't used to be able to do it. All right. Ah, did get me. I'll just try to escape. Oh, no, not gonna work. I'll try the fear. Ooh. Please tell me I don't have to blink. I probably just had to blink, don't I? Because I'm way too wounded to sit around. But like, it gives me two get chances to escape this net, and it didn't work. That's a shame. Ah, it's good old Ned's getting me in trouble, though. That's classic shoals. I was thinking it wouldn't be too bad, it would just be basic folks, but clearly there were too many of them for me. Yeah, this character is, like, remarkably fragile for someone that's a dragon form. I mean, I guess I got a lot of health, but that's about it in terms of defenses, really. Now, someone's going to move next to me, or not. No. I do need to move, because otherwise it's probably just going to sit there throwing more bombs at me. Okay. These guys are considerably faster than me, but I don't... Oh, it does have me lined up for the javelins. Uh... Oops. No, I'll transform this. That's what I meant to do. Just trying to, like, throw some fire at this guy. At least it gives, like, a warning about our transforming. Um, in fact, what I usually do is I go rebind with the abilities the untransform to Q, because Q is out of the way and I won't accidentally hit it like I do with some of the other things. They got a Fugue of the Fall and a Haunt in there. Um, hmm. Oh, it doesn't sound massively great for this character. Okay, it's kind of working running around there. It's uh, finding like a Todd to run and through a sensible air and get all the creatures I wanted to get with my little whirlwind attacks. I was often finding myself unfortunately only hitting one guy instead of everyone. Uh, do you wall jump sometimes? I should wall jump sometimes. I feel like I don't use it very often because it takes a couple of turns after you land right to recover, but I guess that's not too bad. Um, he said this character can, uh, things can go pretty bad with this character in a couple of turns. So, I think it does damage enemies before it does, uh, before it waits. Dragon squid wall jumping must be a majestic sight. I mean, that'd be, I mean, this character kind of looks almost like a, like, a little mind flare or something. I think mind flares are all about, like, psionic leaps and stuff, right? Maybe? Maybe not. I don't know, it would certainly be something seeing a massive dragon squid leaping over your head.
Oh, come on, just die, guys. Die. There we go. Oh, this is my room, but it's well guarded. It's got at least three of the javelin here. So if I just close this door, we'll probably wake them up. Or not. Nah, I'll shout. That'll wake them up. Oh, I don't like how that... No, I'm going upstairs. Hold up. I don't like how that uh, dragon can push me off the stairs. Um, but they should spread around the level now because they got their attention. So they should all just spread out of there. Yeah, in fact, I think this might have been one of the guys. That's definitely one of the guys. I want them to spread a bit more than that. Okay, come on, guys. Uh... Alright, that's two more Javelinias dead. Oh, come on, I do want to move. Wait, Storm? Wait, was there like a Storm foam or something, or...? Oh, you're thinking like heavily Storm, get everyone with that. Because I don't like taking Storm foam if there was one, because I haven't used Storm foam in ages. Well, I think the last character they got it going, like, uh... Swapped out of him for statue form, which was a bit of a shame. Well, I might just go upstairs, get my health back. Okay, this should be doable. Uh, I don't care about the death channel, the vile clash. Hey, I've got my first rune. So this character's doing all right. They do have a rune. Oh, I love the gravitambourine. Oh, I hate the barbs here, though. If I summon slash, do I take barb damage? I'm not sure. Probably, right? Yeah, I do. Oh, well. It's still worth it. <laughs> I really love the gravitambourine because you can just pull like reach of the way from you. It can be really good for getting up staircases and that sort of thing. Where's my other brushes? The spiders there. So I'll go visit the spiders. Got the cold resist. I've got the uh, poison resist. I don't have any resist electric, but that's fine. I don't to get there. Why not? I mean, I guess because I um, told that level to unexplore itself, right? I know there is a key you could use to like re explore set it to re-explored, but I can never read what it is. Because very, uh, very rarely unexplored level. Even more rare than I want to, like, re-explore it afterwards. Uh, my last thing to identify, a push of visibility. What am I missing? I know I'm, I haven't got everything I did find. Oh, acquired and one of those for sale. Uh, brand with doesn't matter. Torment doesn't matter. Experience. Uh, whatever. It's really rare anyway. So, I should go buy that acquired. I'm pretty sure I can afford it. Yeah, well, truly. Right, um, I don't even need that identify anymore, but I might grab the other things here. Uh -huh. So I get a ring with three slang, three tanks, three intelligence, minus two strands, magic points, or magic of throwing. I might grab the ring, or I can get my money back, but I think the ring's probably a good idea. Uh, yeah, the slang will make up for the lack of strength, it's like, oh, why can't I carry it? Um, I don't really need the reflection anymore. Alright, so... What's my damage? I mean, it's 81. It's gonna go off every magic with the slag. I do get an evasion out of this. Like, it's some magic points. Yeah, it goes up to 82. Yeah, I mean, that seems alright. Oh, the magic points are effectively, like, extra health, I guess. Because I don't really have any other use for it. Uh... There we go. Oh, the Strash is doing his thing. It's kind of funny how you can, like, surf and slash around those ones and they just wait for you to do your thing. I mean, I guess they got it while you're surf and slashing. Hey, what's up, Tasty Cam Samurai? How's it going there? I think I got one of your streams not too long back. I can't remember what it was. It was like, might be one of your Fallout streams or something, like Fallout 2 or whatever it is you're playing. I put the reflection back on when you, uh, vaults. Um, yeah, if I ever get, uh, if I ever get statue form or something, I start using a shield again. But I find, I don't find it that great without a shield, to be perfectly honest. Uh, because the, the five shield value just doesn't do a lot. 
But yeah, you're right. Having one of the bolts would definitely be nice. Um... Oh, you see the dragon point is happening? Yeah, in fact, it's like a new sprite for these little dragon points. At least I feel like this is a new sprite. I don't recognize it. I remember, like, I remember, like, the new feel it one, but I don't remember this one. Oh. I lost your account run getting killed by a mafia boss for sleeping with his wife. Wow, okay. I guess that's, uh, I guess that's Fallout. Wait, so you're playing on, like, some sort of, uh, hardcore difficulty where you can't, like, reload a save? Because I seem to remember when I was playing Fallout, I just, like, reloaded saves whenever things went wrong. Uh, I need to get rid of that top of snail. Come on, move up a little bit. Actually, that's not too bad. Alright. Oh, you ruined the save? You only had one shot and couldn't find your way out? Yeah. Now, I remember some fights being quite tough uh, in the old uh, Fallout games. It's been a long time since I played, though. Like, I played it... I must have been, like, really young when I played, like, Fallout 2. I know I've played it, though. I'm not even sure if I, like, owned it on Steam. Like, it's pretty sure that was back before I even used Steam. I'm not even sure if Steam existed. Hmm, anyway, let's go down another staircase. Oh, super fun and cheap. Yeah, I imagine, like, at this point, you could just buy it for, like, I don't know, a few dollars. Well, maybe a little bit more, but... Uh, and I noticed with some of the old games as well, you like, you don't have to, oh, I might have summoned slash this guy. You don't even have to like rebuy them. You can just boot up the old like CD and then they automatically add themselves to Steam. Um, I know that some games do that. I don't think too many do, but I know that some do. Hmm. Why am I not slow by the top of now? Oh, right, I can't actually see it. I see why. It's probably not even there anymore, to be perfectly honest. Alright, well, I'll get my health back before I go and fight Mio Glottal here. Yeah, it's got him. Uh, I was like, 10 American dollars, you don't know how hard... Uh, don't know about the hard copy? Yeah, I might, I might even still have the hard copy sitting around, I have no idea. Um, to be perfectly honest. Because I know I've still got, like, a, I kept all my old hard copies of games from back when I used to play on uh, physical copies. Whoa. Where did Agnes come from? She just kind of, like, appeared. All right, but I think I can do quite a bit of damage to a server slash. Oh, yeah. And by quite a bit of damage, I mean insta-kill. <laughs> oh, so fun when you just, like, insta-kill a guy with, like, one attack. And it's definitely more fun than an enemy insta-killing you in one attack. Although I've got 200 hit points, I should be insta-killed with this character, not even by a normal destruction. Uh, check your damage? It's uh, 84, but then I've got a couple of auxiliary attacks on it as well. So I've got the bite attack, which probably attacks with the world attack, and then I've got the tail slap, although none of the chances look very good. 23% chance of 41%? Interesting. Oh, um, I can't even see the ghost moth. Okay. Now, oh, well, I killed it anyway. Don't have to be able to see it, apparently. Uh... Ah, I'm glad I got a bunch of these cured because I keep getting confused up because I don't really have any evasion or anything. Actually, I do. I 21 evasion, but I guess the tower dealers are still able to hit me. Oh, the unmissable surface of the little tank thing was one very dead Spriggan. Oh, true, true, because the Spriggans are mainly based on evasion. No, you're right, Lord York. Definitely.
Yeah, the unmissable attacks are kind of nice. That's another nice thing about the server slash. I mean, it doesn't guarantee that you won't roll mid damage, but at least you're gonna hurt. Uh, the sprite almost looks like a devil. Yeah, I was, I was thinking like kind of like a mind flare or something almost. It's got or a spider almost with this character, but I can definitely see a devil because it's kind of in red. It's almost got like horns to it, almost. I think there's actually like little wings that are coming out of my body there. Oh, it looks look like some sort of flying spider. Seven lashes aren't missable? I think it's meant to be, yeah. Although I think it can be occasionally blocked by a shield. Although that might be a bug. Um, but I think it's, yeah, it's pretty much unmissable. I think it's like, it's the same as the cypher, like how the cypher occasionally gets blocked by a shield, but it's otherwise unmissable. Um, I don't even think I've got anything to identify right now. I need another sub talisman, but this was the resist corrosion one. Uh, in fact, I'm gonna draw my old sub and flux talismans, those aren't very useful anymore. And the sub one was definitely good while I, uh, while I was using it, while I didn't have anything better. Oh, oh. Someone stings me. There it is. It's just hard to figure out which direction. I don't think I've got anything of Sea Invisible. It would have to be an amulet, otherwise I'd be wearing it. No, I definitely don't. That's a, the easy thing with this character is figure out what items I have. I just bring up the equipped jewelry screen and it tells me every single item I can get for like resist and stuff. Oh, don't confuse me. Um... I don't think I've seen a Manifold Assault, but I got a Mystic Blast there, at least. I feel like if I wanted to go extended with this character, they'd want to get a Manifold Assault going. I wonder how good, like, Neck Reputation is with an Octopod. It doesn't sound particularly great, because you couldn't wear any armor with it, but maybe it would be alright. Uh, got the Lightning Spire, Maxwell's Capacitive Coupling, and a Summon... What was that? Summon... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. There's some other electric spell there that I don't really care about. Or you reach a rune vault when you use the Wujian Storm? I maybe should. Wait, this looks like the rune vault right now, isn't it? You know what? Let's do it. And it lets me see the creatures as well. Uh, please don't charge down. Uh, sure, whatever. Get rid of the thing on the shopping list. I'm running out of charge. Uh oh. Because I'm not getting a lot of charge back by killing these guys. Oh, no, I'm going to have to get a cure to get rid of the confusion. Ah, <laughs> really? Another cure? Another confusion, I mean. Uh, I might have uh, another nice group of creatures here to charge back up. Yeah, there we go. I got my storm all nice and charged up again. Alright, what's next? Come on. There's got to be some more creatures in here. I was actually did a normal attack instead of a woman to attack. It's a normal attack, so I don't think charge up the storm. Uh oh. Come in a web. That just seems like cheating with a Wujian character. Someone's gonna be slowed as well, be one of these, uh... Little scarab beetles. And there we go, there's the rune! It's sub and slash all the way to the rune. That's kinda funny. I think there's nothing else for me to fight though, and my storm's about to wear off. Yeah. But it got me there, did the trick. Yeah, that's always really fun when it actually works. Because um, I think it gives you like extra evasion and stuff to make things work out. Oh, hey, Roxanne. Um, I could grab myself a statue form. Hmm. 
do I want to though? Is the real question. I mean, obviously I do the rest of the level before I decide if I kill Roxanne or not. But I totally could get myself statue form. I think the 15 evasion and 15 slang, right? Yeah, because it's uh, equal to the level of the storm, right? So it does charge up to pretty good levels. All right, well, let's go kill Roxanne. What's the plan? Do I just... I guess I just go melee her. Uh, gotta be something I can drop. Let's see. Oh, I should be wearing this ring, right? I got an extra ring slot. Pause nuts on that good. I can probably drop some of the other throwing things, maybe. Shot weapons are pretty useless. Amnesia is pretty useless. All right, well, I'll do. Um, let me look at this. So, I've currently do 88 damage, 21 evasion, 12 armor class. Okay. Uh -huh. I lost a little bit of health. Right, my evasion goes up to 27. My armor class to 27. I get 13 shield value. I, but I only hit for like 53 damage now. And I move slower. But I think that's alright. Can I get a bigger shield? No. Okay. Sure. Um, Does give me a resist electric, which is really nice. I have any willpower, but I'm gonna go to the vaults. I think in the vaults it makes sense to be in the serpent form. Uh, could put on the reflection. We'll see how it goes without the reflection, though. The spirit guardian one on. And someone in here is gonna have a bigger shield for me, right? If there's a Kawhi, but doesn't have a bigger shield for me. The manual of shapeshifting. Morning Star Venom Staff, I uh, give the manual shapeshifting. I might eventually get some more. In fact, I probably will eventually get some more. Moving slow is cool with Wuchia because every one would attack multiple times. Right, so you don't exactly lose any damage from it, which is nice. Um, yeah, because it just like gives you the extra tanks to make up for it, which is great. Although, to be fair, I think my attack speed actually technically has gone down as well, so I still be getting the same number of attacks on a whirlwind attack as before. Uh... That's what I'm glad I got the words electric, although with my evasion, the Thunderhawks would probably strong to hit me a bit as well. Yeah, I mean, this statue form is just clearing this place out, so let's go down another level, see what we've got. Oh, got some little guys. Plenty of little guys for me to deal with, that's no problem, so, oh, marked. I mean, that was gonna happen, I've got no willpower and I can't get willpower, so, yeah, shouldn't be surprised at all when I get marked. Hey, there we go. Good do with a big shield for me. Uh, I don't think my shield skills kept up because I haven't really trained it. I just consider my skills again. You know what? Let's turn on the shields again. This is seeming pretty good with the statue form. Tower shield somewhere? Maybe? Wait, what? I don't even know where it is. Um... What can I drop? There's got to be something that's useless. I mean, I can always just drop that identifier because I don't think it's doing a lot. I can drop the cancellation at the moment. I could drop, um, not the cancellation. What am I talking about? The brilliance. But I might just drop the identifier. I feel like that's pretty useless. Um, got to be that shield. I definitely saw a shield that guy, right? Yeah, there it is. I won't put it on until I actually get a little bit of skill, though. Oh, we still carry around the job with like from drop that one. Actually, I think I do. We just picked it up. I got three cores, so I don't need to worry too much about the walls being frozen. It does make me even slower moving though, which is fine, probably. 
I don't think I'm going to have to do a lot of running away. All right, I've got positive energy. I kind of don't need that, but if I've got an... Oh, I don't have an extra ring slot for it. That's fine. If I had an extra ring slot, I'd put it on anyway. But I've got one resist negative from the statue form, and that's all I'm ever going to need. Oh, uh, is that Menace? No, it's an angel. I see. That was the one that was, like, stuck inside its own little vault, but then it got, I guess, pulled out. Uh, nope, that's... Oh, wait, hold on, I can wear a hat now. Do I want to... I mean, I... I don't. I got the... I got the fancy hat. I'm gonna take the fancy hat. <laughs> yeah, get my... get myself that one, why not? Uh, I could do a drop, the probably don't need the positive energy. There we go. I'm not going to that fancy app, which I should go and shot, I guess. Uh, sure. Let's do it. Um. I can draw X for a list every item inside. I mean, I guess that's probably, uh, yeah, I guess it's a useful way. So, right, that's just inside. Wait, control X? Control X, right. I see. It's the indie hat, yeah, with like the all the spiders and stuff. I really love that vault. But, like the uh, hat. Oh, what's this? Lots of gold resist. I don't really need that. Minus six slag, six decks. Resist corrosion. Hmm. Weirdly, I don't think that's actually worthwhile because of the minus six slag, and the fact that I've already got another ring with so much gold resist on. I mean, maybe at some stage I can make use of that, but definitely not at the moment, that's for sure. It's a tragic ring, yeah, it looked good, but no, it's just too much minus leg. I might drop my flame. Alright. How am I against these archer guys? I mean, oh, I definitely take a bit of damage. I suppose it's not too bad. Okay, it's Phantom Mirror. Why is my inventory so full? I mean, I got all these rings. I guess that's something. I'll drop the boom rings. I can't theoretically throw them now, but I don't think I'll be doing much throwing. Uh, I'll probably just rely on the javelins for my throwing needs. Um, I don't treat back. These are... Okay, it did merge up a bit. Ah, this guy's targeting my willpower, which I don't have, and it's doing a... I think it was doing, like, a... What's it called? Um, Torment of some description. The non-symbol variety, I guess. That's fine, I do have resistance to torment, at least. So I've got the one resist negative. Oh, manual of unarmed. Yes, please. I don't have quite enough money, but when I get another 200 gold, I guess I... Go grab myself manual of unarmed because that's definitely useful. That's something I'm trading up right now. Uh, there's the guy that seals the door. I knew there'd be one. Oh, I got the door. Storm? I don't have a. I might have had a. I think I'm going to teleport. There's nowhere for me to move. Oh, let me out the door anyway. Yeah, the, the problem is the storm needs me to actually be able to move to charge itself up, and it was like nowhere to move. But yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea. I, was, I was definitely think about the storm. Just uh, couldn't quite. Uh, strength of dags. Might get a little bit of dags, but either is fine. One gives me more defense, and the other one gives me more attack. They both work. I've done uh, an octopus of both, and they both seem to work just fine. You'd break dags? Yeah, I think that's what I went with this time round. No, really? Probably gonna cancel this platform. Why did those guys get polymorph anyway? Because I don't remember them used to having polymorph, but I know they've had it for a little while now. This always uh, messes me up. 
All right. You know, skills are about to reach the target, I think, so soon I'll be doing just shields. Only as much as this level left. Yeah, the guy tried to recall, but uh, having a bit of trouble actually finding anything to recall. Also, I can go finally buy the manual of unarmed. In fact, this character wants the unarmed title, so I don't need to worry about like overtraining the unarmed or anything. Oh, 0 0.31 changed the evil spell list. Right, so yeah, it has been a little while now, but that was probably it. 0 0.31. What's that scroll? I probably want it. Uh, that's a polymorph. Um, oh, from the wiki, prior to 0 0.31, they had paralysis drain magic instead of vitrifying polymorph. Yeah, that sounds right. I remember them having the whole uh, paralysis. Oh, it's just brown weapon. <laughs> Never mind that. Oh, that level's done. Don't have a whole lot left of the vaults here. But no, the paralysis was removed from most monsters, right? And replaced with, like, Vitrify or something. Um, I don't know whether Drain Magic was replaced. That's interesting with the Polymorph. Huh. I don't seem to remember those guys draining Magic being a bit of a huge deal. Like, a lot of things that Drain Magic can be quite noticeable, but no, I never remember those ones being too bad with it. They probably just didn't used to spam it hugely or something. How many octopus have uh, you killed that? Oh, oh, hey, Dennis. Oh, yeah, it's always time for me to jump to bonus gate, isn't it? I think I actually haven't killed any today, which is crazy. Oh, no, maybe I killed one. I think I killed one earlier today. Maybe. But I've actually been doing remarkably well. Did I even... Oh, I think I did kill one. Um... I don't know, it's definitely been a long time. Oh, the spell has changed to the debuffs will stack. Oh, because I guess the Vitrify stacks really well with the Polymorph, right? Because you, uh, you can turn someone into a bat and then make them vulnerable. In fact, that happened to this character earlier when they got, like, paralyzed and stuff. Alright, well, I guess I probably should leave things here, right? Just uh, go join Baldur's Gate. Welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, everyone. I've got an octopus going here, and it looks like I was gonna go take some revenge on the elves and the elven halls after what they did to my last octopode. <laughs> to be fair, that was mainly due to bad um, teleport scrolls. Oh, I have no willpower? Hmm. Man, can I get any? Probably not, right? I mean, I'd probably already be wearing willpower if I could. Ah, oh, it's just weapons. Nah, never mind. Oh, that's right, this character's a Wujian, so I get to dance around all over the place. It's kind of cool. Ah, yeah, this guy has 37% chance of banish. I've got tons of enlightenment, so I'm just going to quaff one of those. It's kind of funny just running straight past elves and having them die. And it does seem to work pretty well being a Wujian character when you do reasonably good damage, I think. What is my damage at? 61? Oh yeah, not bad. But it's actually like 50% higher than that, um, because that doesn't account for the bonus damage that you get from being in statue form. Well, it kind of does. It counts for the base unarmed, but not the base, uh, not the plus 50% damage with um, melee attacks. Alright, level 22, nice. Uh, actually a fairly reasonable level with this character. Did I get any parts of XP or something? I don't think so, but it feels almost like it did. Wait, that's the wrong thing. That key to see what potions I've got. Oh, uh, yeah, it's experience I haven't found. Can I sneak up on this elf without setting up for the live trap? I think it can. Where did it even go? I don't know that can be a bit hard to get up to the elves because they like to blink around. And I'm not exactly fast at moving with this character. Alright. 
What's my move delay? 1.5, which is normal. Statue form, move delay, nothing particularly special about that or anything. Okay, that's fine. Ah. Got a shield to help me with archers? I don't know, I don't have that much to help me with archers, but my defenses are actually pretty decent. Oh, shield got to 15, that's what I like to see. Need to get more out of, but before that I might just get more shield. Uh, bring that up to 20, because I had a, like, a big shield on me, this is a tower shield here. So you got 15 shield value, 1 attack delay. If I try this on, it's 1.1 attack delay, uh, 22 shield. That's actually not bad, I think I might just go with that one. I'll see if there's any better shields around. Mm, not right now. Do you have two enchanted armor I could put on this shield if I wanted to? That's not a terrible idea. I mean, I could hope for a branded shield and I might get one, but I think it's a relatively small chance. I reckon it's best just to enchant what I've got right now. Because it's not like I'm going to get any other armor I want of an octopod, right? I can't exactly wear much apart from this hat, which is enchanted, right? Yeah, it's plus two hat. I probably actually enchanted this one up myself as well. Why is there so many fire guys here? I think it's just a fire themed vault. Yeah, okay, that looks fine. Oh, mm. I was hoping this guy wouldn't get me with something. Oh well. Oh, I need my willpower on. Um, it was just the urge to shout, which is probably fine. Uh, oh, it did follow me up. It just went invisible and I can't see invisible. Right, I see. Come on, just heal me up. Oh, my extra willpower wore off. I maybe should have, like, servant slashed or something, because I gotta remember I can't actually do that, if need be. Alright, well, back down the same old staircase, I guess. Oh, I'm confused. I've got curing, so I might just cure it up. Is that these guys? Like, the basic fire littles? No, it's not. It's someone else's. Oh, it's the archers, isn't it? They confuse me. It's gotta be these archers. Does slow, confuse, repel missiles, blink, rage. Yeah, that's right. Uh, again. Alright, well, at least I got rid of the archers now. Um, I don't think I'll worry about that mutation, the ocean shout. Oh, I do have the blink spell. I'll grab it, but like, it's not really castable yet. Is there anything else here that could be useful? I mean, at some stage, I might want to get, um... I don't know, actually. Don't think I found a metaphor so... Oh, I do have the Vise Electric Charge, which I could eventually get going. I don't have any... I do have a shield. I don't have any armor, so it should still be reasonably easy to get going. Am I level 2 of the Hall... Uh, Elven Halls? This is one of the Hall of Blades War, which is guarded by ranged weapons today. Alright. Oops, that was not quite the ideal way to move up to that. But I don't have any reason to do the whole blade, so I'm just going to leave it, I think, with this character. I mean, it gives it a little bit of XP or whatever, but it's not like I need the shot weapons or the brand weapons or anything like that with this character. You can see him going straight unarmed. It would be a little silly. Alright. Yeah, they're lighting up well for me to just, um, well would attack them all at once, which is a lot of fun. Oh, okay, that's definitely the entrance of the top elves. Um, I might have lightened it up. I want to pull this guy back. I don't want to move up to it. I want to pull it around this corner. All right. Oh, there's another guy to pull around this corner. At least try to. Uh, hopefully I don't get the bad teleports like I did last time. That's kind of what uh, did this character, well, did it my last character. It's like, I oh, teleported into the middle of, um, well, there's got to be something that moves up to me. Teleport into the middle of everything. All right. Oh. I think I might get out of here. Um, hopefully this is not as bad a teleport. At least I got rid of some of the guys this time around. Hey, there we go. It took me straight to the entrance. That's what I like to see. I really start with a tormentor. Oh. Okay, I'll do a bit of fog, although I don't have a huge amount of fog. 
try to bring it back a little bit because I'm worried that there's like a ton more of these guys in here, which there are. Alright. Don't have a perfect like little area to hide around and pull the guys out, but I've got something at least. Alright. Back up a bit. Uh, they think I do a little bit of Serpent Slash here, but I gotta think about running away at some stage. Hmm, I think I'm just gonna do another teleport. Alright, well that was a good teleport as well. <laughs> Haven't been too unlucky with my teleports just yet. Oh, another Kaku Demon, come on. What did I do to me? Oh, minus scroll. That's going to have to be reset at some stage, unfortunately. In fact, probably right now I'm going to go reset that one. That's a shame. How many mutation potions have I got? Seven. Not that many, but i got to get rid of the minus scroll. So I've got magic compound ones, pass me down for the noise of my surroundings. Those are good. Um... Alright, I'm just going to hide around here, see if I can pull anything out. It looks like anything wanted to follow that time round. So what is actually probably helping me out? Ooh. Ah, so Lee's rapid deconstructing me. I might just move up to it. Alright, there we go. Go rid of it. Or is it too much Lee's rapid deconstruct or anything? Uh. I'm gonna sub and slash a couple of these guys. Okay, I think everything's under control, so... What I need is, like, how did you remember what my amulet was? Let me go check on that one. It was Spirit Guardian 7 Strength. I see why I'm keeping that one on. It's actually quite good, because I don't really need magic points for this character. Ooh, what's this? Dex plus 6 resist negative stealth. I'm pretty sure I just got some basic decks of me. I got some evasion ones. Might see how it compares. I got 28 evasion. If I just put it on a dex ring instead of an evasion ring, I lose, like, 1. Um... Ah, uh, that'll catch back up, I think. What am I actually wearing, though? I'm wearing... Tension for Cold. Which I might not need. Yeah, I might try taking that one off, putting on the evasion. Right, I've got two cold resists, which is not bad. I've got... I mean, that's more decks. Fire resists I definitely need. What's this one here? Slaying a little bit of decks? I don't know a huge amount. I can probably replace that soon. That's my cold resist. Dex and Dex, so oh, yeah. I don't need the intelligence, I don't really have a lot of spells, I don't think. Good old Rhyme Blight. Uh, tension? I don't know, maybe. Let me think about that. I might drop, uh, drop the Flaming Wand. Right, so I've got the, got the three slag, three Dex one here. Let's check out my damage. So I got 61 damage, and I do 32 Evasion, 27 shield. If I put on the protection instead of this one. Um, did I lose? I lost a couple of... Oh, it's not that great, is it? No, I might go back to this one. I mean, it does lose me a couple of dags, but I think it's... Wait, does it? Lo no, a couple of int, maybe. Wait, where was it? I was going to swap the protection. I think I'd rather go with this one, get a little bit more shield and stuff. But this is actually kind of fine. I don't know if I can really use it. the stuff. I guess I can use the books. There's Apportation, Curse of Agony, Marta's Nell. There's a number of spells. I get the Apportation. No. Oh. Where does this lead? Okay. There's a little hidey room in here with just staircases. I mean, char. Anyway, I think I'm done here. It's just time to go to the depths, see what we've got on that. Alright. What's these? Frost Giants. I think the, the Frost is the one I'm more resistant to, though. The Fire, they could do a little bit more. Also, the Willpower is something I definitely need. Not that I've found anything for that, apparently. Uh... I can't quite make it to the choke point yet. There we go. Now I can just sit here and wait for everything to come up to me. Like, sure, I can't do my whirlwind attacks, but I can just find everything in a nice little corridor. Shut up, that's for my shield, isn't it? Keep that one going. See if I can get the shield value up to 30. See if I can get all my defense up to 30, because that's always really funny when they're all just sitting on 30. 
Well, it's always good defenses anyway. Um, there's a couple of books. So this one's got Noxious Bog, Sticky Flame, Mephitic Cloud. Got Ignite Poison, Noxious Bog, Petrify, Mephitic Cloud. Wow, that one actually would be really good if you were doing Alchemy or something, because you get Ignite Poison with a Noxious Bog, which is always much fun. Um, I really got into Alchemy, though, with this character. Do you have and Sincere could get something? I don't know, I don't think I'll get into Alchemy, though. I could go water right, but I think I I think octopods are a little weird in statue form. Uh, so they can swim in the deep water, except they sink to the bottom, so they have a penalty on their uh, melee attacks. I think something a bit like that. Not saying here, but I'm pretty sure I can sometimes say that you miss due to the water or something. Uh. Yeah, I don't know, it doesn't seem to be saying it right now, but I thought that was the case. Hey, more mutation, good, because I'll probably never get, like, the death form going with this character. We'll see if I do or don't, but there's a good chance I don't. Not that I don't, I don't think I've actually seen the death form. Now nah, it look like it. But the main problem is, like, uh, I can't wear armor, and usually, oh my goodness. You should put your death form, you want some armor on. Okay, I'm gonna do a heavily storm. What did it do to me? My body comes fragile, let's fine. Let's do a serpent slash. Oh, I got cast into the abyss. Oh. Fragile and heavily stormed, okay. Uh, heavily storm's not the best in the air because it's kind of noisy. Alright, well those are just down staircases, which is not the most helpful. Um I gotta put on oh I didn't bring the regen ablet. If I had the regen ablet, I'd put it on right now, but no, nah, I didn't bring it unfortunately. Oh well, I'm level 23, so that's something when it comes to surviving this place. And I can kind of kill some of the things just by walking past them, so that's something as well. Uh, I guess I'm a bit stealthy, although not hugely, right? Let's see. Oh, actually, no, I've got a reasonable amount of stealth. I think I've got some items that are giving stealth. Alright. Oh, hey there, vampire. I was like, God, that's one way out, but I don't think this character's gonna need it because I'm level 23. I think I can just keep on going in here and fighting the things normally. Oh, don't slow me. That's kind of mean. I try and wait it off in this corner. Oh, not very well. There we go. Good. Okay. Uh, come on, there's got to be a way out of here. It's just so random though in the abyss because everything in here is just completely random. Although it's there if you kill enough creatures it can give you a gateway out. Although I think it's a random between a gateway out and a gateway further. Yeah, that's a gateway leading out from killing things. Excellent, that's what I wanted. Um, so this guy is summoned by this guy. Alright, I see how that is. Might do a sub and slash to try and get rid of some of these guys. Oh, did they get me with mutation? Not quite. Good. Alright, well that was an absolutely nasty bolt with everything it threw a bit. What's up with these walls? Huge broken translucent gate. Oh, interesting. They look kind of cool, actually. I don't think I've seen that before. Man, I hope this one's not as bad. Ah, oh, good. Alright, I think it's time for a bit of Serpent Slash. Yeah, this one's just more tough, cold guys rather than mutating guys or something. Hey, Gazer, how's it going? It's going pretty well. Yeah, this character's definitely going well at least. Oh, shapeshifting's got a manual, I should get that up to like 20 or something. Um... 
Oh, so does my unarmed. Wow, okay, I've got manuals and everything. I should get the unarmed to, like, 27? I don't know. I'll just keep it going to 24, see if it runs out of manual or not, but I can just keep it going while it's got a manual on it. What even is this place? It's got, like, so many Hell Knights and the um, Kangra Demons. It's like there's a heli major just spawning into this level. Oh, it's a Maglip altar. Right, so some sort of Maglip specific vault. That makes sense. Maglip's all about the tails. What about you, Gaines How have you been going? Got any cruel games going at the moment? Uh, just sneak up on this guy. I'm surprisingly stealthy. I know I do grab some items. Are those shape or actual scorpions? I think the answer might be actual scorpions, weirdly. Alright. This is fine. I can deal with actual scorpions. These gates are look kind of weird on the bottom. I think they are just normal ones, though. Yeah, the open translucent ones. The demon blade of the scroll. Does pain? Oh, it doesn't really matter. It's this corrosion and stuff. I'm not. Oh, another demon blade of death rattle. That was draining. I mean, those are decent demon blades, but they're not what I'm after. Let's not go to pandemonium just yet. I do want to go to pandemonium, just not just yet. Oh, really slowed me. I think it's probably fine. There's no one else around to kind of take advantage of that. It's always fun just like getting things to the choke point and just tapping through them because this character's pretty good at tapping through quite a lot of stuff. Um... Oh, hey there, Shrike. Do you want to get the attention of the Shrike? Although it was kind of just right to get the Shrike, but this will do. There we go. Um, do I have to this corrosion? I do, because I got a ring as, uh, right? I mean, obviously it's a ring, I'm an octopode. So, well, I guess it could theoretically could be my shield or my helmet, but unlikely, right, for an octopode to actually find those? Uh, check out this ambulance, so it's... Three willpower, resist negative, fly face, but minus, wait, minus eight magic points? That's unusual. Usually it's minus nine. So this is not quite a preset one. Um, hmm. Probably don't need a dragon form anymore. It was fun. It was fun for a while, but yeah, I don't think it quite keeps up. What am I carrying around? I mean, I guess I got a lot of various uh, potions and stuff. Do I want that? I mean, that would completely fix my willpower. I lose a bit of strength and lose my spirit guardian. Um, hmm. It's definitely interesting, the thoughts of putting that on. Uh, how much resist negative do I need? Not really. I've got my resist negative up to two already. I don't think it's actually worth it right now. Um, I got no games going, games are in. Ah, uh, yeah. Haven't thought of something of playing or have been playing something else at the moment. You were thinking of doing some kind of command that generates a greater player combos list based on win rates or so from harder species to easiest. Wait, so. Hmm, that would be interesting. Yeah, generating. Oh, how would you do that actually? Like trying to figure out like which combos are the hardest. I mean, I guess you could actually... Oh, what is the thing for doing a tie combo? Man. I know there is some way... I'd like, figure out which... Oh, that's paralysis. Uh, figure out which combos are the hardest part would be too bad, but then trying to do it... Uh, hmm. Oh, the list of user-defined commands? 
Right, because there, there are some kind of funny ones, like ones that basically joke ones, right, as well. Then there's actual useful ones in there as well. Like there's, uh, what is it, the snack one or something. That doesn't look like I'm spelling that correctly. Uh, that doesn't look like I'm spelling it correctly. We'll see if it works. No, it's not spelled like that. <clears throat> I don't even remember what it was. I know there was definitely one. He didn't have the H in there, let's try it without. Hey, there we go! Yeah, it's, more, it's, it's funny, but you can tell if you're like, playing Nargus, I think, with that one. It's cool, I guess. Some say they should look through all the users to find ones, see if there's any useful ones. Uh... Oh, hey, Mara. Goodbye, Mara. For somehow I managed to get a stab, not that I do any bonus damage. Well, I do a little bit of bonus damage to stabs. I think everyone does, but yeah. Oh, there's also Karmic Balance. Violence win versus non-violence win percent? Non-violence one is higher? What is the non-violence one? Does it just count certain gods or something? Or how does it determine? Or is it when you win a game with killing less than a certain number of creatures? Dunno. Can you do it like for a certain player? Oh. Okay. Like can I do... Oh, evil gods versus good gods. I mean it makes sense that the good gods are winning because uh, the Shining win for extended. That makes sense. Um, can I do it just specifically for me? And I guess some people also do Z and extended and stuff. Um, uh, wait, that's not looking quite right. That doesn't seem to be specifically for just me. That seems to be just my wins compared with everyone else's games. Oh, interesting. I don't know, but personally, I think of, like, uh, the Shining One as quite a violent god. They do the end of a lot of things that allow you to kill creatures. Uh, I don't need the polymorph. I mean, sure, they're about violence against things they deem evil, but I'm pretty sure they're a very violent god. Well, let's just leave the Baran weapon behind. Uh, and the enchant weapon can be left behind. Although it's worse than worse than regular expressions. <laughs> yeah, games sometimes be a little bit hard to like figure out exactly what they mean. Like, I know the streak one uh, does weird stuff as well, like if you filter it down. Um, like, for an example of something that's kind of silly with the streak one. Uh, if I say streak, and I say something like. I want to be something like you root is equal to 15 or something. Is that gonna work? Yeah, then it gives me having like a streak of 101 consecutive games, but that's not actually true. That's, um, it only counts games who have had at least 15 runes, and most of those don't die, right? So, but once they've got 15 runes, so you get kind of ridiculous streak things with that. Doesn't actually give you your best 15 rune streak. Um, drop the brilliance for now, but I might want to pick it up later on. We'll see. Alright, what can I swap in for the willpower? I might swap out... I might swap out the three decks. Three slaying, but a minus strength one. See how that works. Still 66 damage. Got a little bit less shield value, but that's probably okay. In fact, I think I actually have lost a couple of 15 rune games, um, like games that already had 15 runes, but that was because I was doing, like, Megazing stuff. Um, I just seven slash these guys a little bit, and I, um, tried to do more ziggurats after getting some runes. Ooh, that's Fire is a invisible uh, willpower, but it does have the minus three strength. That's actually not bad. I think I want that one. Alright, well, I can put that on. I guess the same visible is something I need. I might just swap out for now. I might just swap out the fire resist. 
Yeah, I mean, that's also my willpower. That uh, stress is down a little bit, but I'm still 63 damage. I'm sure that'll be just fine. Um, do I need a potion of magic? Not yet. I still don't have any real, like, uh, spells going. <laughs> or even my god ability doesn't even use magic. I don't think. Okay, I have good call resist, thankfully. Ah, uh, manual of unarmed god, but I'm about to hit the target I step for that one anyway. I don't know what skills I get next. I mean, I could just keep the unarmed going until it maxes out or something. It's so resist negative intelligence. I think my resist negative is still really good, so there's no point in grabbing that one. Um, butterflies is good. Definitely want some butterflies. It's fun, it's kind of, it looks like I was stabbing all those guys, but it wasn't really stabbing them. Okay, uh, I don't think I need the willpower anymore. Five to three strength, yes please, I'll take that. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting that fire resist right now. Let's see what I've got that I could swap out. I could swap out... Keep the cold resist on. I could probably swap out the willpower. Maybe? Let's give it a try. See how that willpower looks. I mean, the willpower's down to three, but that's probably better. Alright, and, uh, wait, there's a little bit of the Santa left to go, I guess, but that's about it. And it's probably not even creatures in here, yeah, done. Um, that's a vault's done, so I need to go get myself a third rune, right? I did get, I did get both of my runes. I can just go get myself, uh, a vault's rune, and I'll probably do the side pits rune as well. I can think I can do both. Um, yeah, that's my staircase down. Let's just go down, see where I end up. Right there. Well, that XK badge wasn't much use. Let me just put on the teleport. Alright, that's better. How's this guy's chance of marking me? 4%? Yeah, the willpower's actually pretty good at the moment. That's not too bad. I can just do a... Um, yeah, one of those little sub and slash. I'm just gonna max out the unarmed because uh, there's a unique octopode title for maxing that one out, so... I'm pretty sure that was what I, exactly what I was going for with this character. Um, yeah, we'll go this way. And if I had to stand a bit of cold, I'm sure it's the right thing to do. It's when, it comes, uh, when it comes to killing all those guys, just keep on moving. Right, well, with Travis Jones, I probably do want to pick up. I don't think I'm very good at evocations with this character. I, mm, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't think I've really been using it much, so I haven't really spanked much into it. Alright, but I can at least grab the Trevor Stones anyway. Oh, I don't need the willpower anymore, that's... Probably don't need the slaying, but it does have plus magic points, but... Wait, am I getting rid of the Amulet of Faith? Because I got the willpower now, and that was the main thing that that one was giving was the willpower. And I'll never catch up to this guy. That's the problem that, like, a creature doesn't notice you. Sometimes you just can't catch up to it, especially when you're slower than it. But even when you're the same speed as it, it can be pretty painful to try and catch up. Oh, not heavy with damnation. I do have a reasonable amount of health because of the statue form, but damnation is always bad. Oh, I'm gonna self slash this guy. Just because it decided to become something that can mal mutate me. And I don't believe I have my, like, wand of, um, mutation on me, unfortunately. Uh, polymorph, that's what it's called. Wand of polymorph on me. Oh, hey, Menace. Oh, he's right there. Ah, uh, I think I find him. All right, there we go. My, I don't know if I back up and wait off the heavily storm or whether I, I keep on pressing on while I'm still gonna going. Uh, it's probably gonna round turns anyway. Yeah, it did round turns. 
But it was definitely good at getting rid of medicine. You have a plus zero talent shield, unfortunately. Nothing this character needs. Oh, lightning rod. Um, I'll just drop one of these rings, I guess. Uh, good old undead hunter there. Well, it's bonus damage to undead. I don't, don't know about undead hunter. I mean, it sounds okay, but... How often are you fighting undead outside of, like, crypt or something? Like, not that much, really. This kind of really niche. It's like Holy Wrath, except even more niche. Like, Holy Wrath is good at extended, right? But... Alright. How these guys haven't even noticed me? I can just kind of kill them as I run past them. Is that an artifact? This could be an artifact. It's got reflection, two strength on it. Oh, reflection's not terrible. I might just go and drop this magic regen one. It's not like I really need it or anything, is it? Um... Okay, how am I resist going? So I'm missing one fire, one cold, one resist negative. That's not bad. Um, I don't know if I've got... I've got probably got a swap for, like, cold resist. No, I don't. I, mm, I could probably find one, though, if I wanted to. But I don't know about a swap for fire resist. Because, like, you don't really need all the resists all the time. So it's just, like, certain pandemonium levels or certain hells that you kind of need to max them out. And even then, like, you can get away with not maxing them out. It's just kind of nice to max them out. Oh, it's so a good old dragon's fob. Um, I don't think it's an artifact one, though. Whoa, got a rude... It was just like a rude buried on some rocks. Okay, yeah, it's not an artifact dragon talisman. I could potentially use a dragon talisman if it was an artifact, but I don't think it's worth losing my shield. I think the shield's uh, definitely helping a lot with this character. Kind of ashamed that some of the other um, forms aren't quite as good as they used to be. Because I feel like I end up going with Sagi form way too much these days. Whereas before I kind of had a bit more of a variety. I mean, not really true. I used to just go with Dragon form basically all the time. Oh, it's got oh, random slow on it. It's not bad ring though. It's got fire it's got resistance. Dead and it would be good without the random slow. I don't know. I really don't. Mm, no, it doesn't seem that worthwhile with the random slow on it. Anyway, let's go find some slides, I guess. Give myself another rune. Hopefully not too many mal mutations though. That seems my resist corrosion's holding up and keeping the um corrosion at bay, thankfully. Just sub and slash the sky. There we go. Make sure I don't get mal mutated in a hurry. Oh, there's another one. I just do a little bit of fog. All right. Hmm. Doing a little bit longer than I'd like to kill. Didn't get a chance in there to mal mutate me, but I, I got a reasonably quick, I think. Uh, I actually don't really need to go kill those guys. I could have just taken the staircase down, but I guess it's worth clearing them out so that I don't get ambushed on the way back up or something. Anyway, let's go down. Uh, I made really good progress here, I think. All right, well, this is the last level. Um, Oh, it's one of these layouts with the... The walls that don't quite give you choke points, but they like almost do. If that makes any sense. They're like almost choke points. Oh, hey, bro, Jelly. Uh, got a bit of might. Anything else I want to do? Okay. Kind of want to serpent slash here. Uh, <laughs> might be a little surrounded, but I'll start a teleport, I think, just in case. Hey, Stealth is helping out a lot there. There we go. Hey, 
And now they're no longer surrounded, they should be in a bit of a better situation. Right, I should go look at some of this treasure. Where's the way into here? Right, it's down, down this way, I think. Uh, I guess I'll just stand at this choke point. There we go, kill everything. What is up with this orb? Is this just an artifact or is it? No, it's a orb of battle, a uh, sphere of battle, I mean. That's the one that enhances um, something? Conjurations, I think. I mean, I don't know if I've really, ever really used that. There used to be a staff, I've used the staff version before. Alright, we got the uh, snake bite to the whip of Kirari. We've got some of the stuff. Another rig of tags. I mean, kind of should take another rig of tags, I think. Instead of, oh, come on, that's got to be something. I guess the torment. It's just, I think you're swapping out that evasion one with the decks or something. So I got 31 evasion, 28 shield. If I swap it out, I probably lose a little bit of evasion. Yeah, lose two evasion again, like one shield, which isn't quite worth it just yet, but as I gain my more skills, it should end up worth it. Alright, what's down to my last corner here? Well, there's the rune, which is what I came here to get. Hey, there we go, I'm a crusher. That's what I want to be. Okay, well, what can I get now? I mean, I can get a little bit more fighting. A little more shields. Oh, definitely more dodging. Yeah. I totally forgot about dodging. Let's just turn everything off and turn on dodging. Um, because that should help a lot. Alright, this is my fourth rune. Ha, ah, it's just a basic Grand Eye Talisman. Uh, well, I've got the main treasure, so let's just get out of here before anything too bad comes along. Uh, speaking of something bad, <laughs> some slash that guy get up to a little bit quicker. Ah. Alright, there we go. Out of the lab. So, um, I've got Zot to do, right? They've got the crep to do. I might start with Zot. Although I probably won't do the last level of Zot because I want to try and save some of my mutations. Well, some of my mutation potions. For extended. Hey, Pudget. Oh, he just died. Well, I don't need his armor, unfortunately, otherwise that would be nice to see him. I feel like it's all to the characters that don't need his armor, although I have used his armor a few times, thankfully. So it's not always the characters that don't need it that find him. Yeah, the one with distortion probably needs um, a bit of servant slash. Ah, didn't quite kill it. How much damage do I do with the Karacha? 74 damage. I mean, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Hey, and all my defense are finally above 30. Because they get to, like, fluctuating around a bit as I, uh, swapped around items and stuff. But no, they're finally all, uh, 30 or above. Uh, these are going to be electric guys in this castle. It does look like it. There's a storm talisman. I could try that on. I don't think I've actually quite got the skill for it, but it's probably not worth it, to be perfectly honest, because you lose the shield, but I'll take a look at it. Uh, needs... Yeah, it needs like three more skills or something. Which I can totally get. I mean, it would help with the statue form, at the very least. Even if I don't end up continuing... Like, to use the, the, the electric form. There yeah, another reason to put all like, another Dex or something? Probably not, really. I mean, that's like Dex, Dex. Cobras as they need, fires as they need. More Dex. Fires this again, right? That makes sense. That willpower. Dex and resist corrosion. Yeah, I don't think it makes sense to put on another Dex ring. There just is another Dex one there. Should I happen to want it? Oh, hey, over fire. Oh, not minus potions. Come on. I didn't quite kill it quick enough. I mean, it took it out pretty quick, but just not quite quick enough to avoid the mutations. I 
I won't reset those right now, though. That's a such a shame, though. Um. Yeah, we're stacingly likely going through it's all that you build up a couple of mutations or whatever. Oh, hey, Bray Draconians. Um. Let's summon slash a few of these. Alright, there we go. Um. Maybe more there was that huge amount of traps. Oh, that guy, that's kind of funny. I mean, the guy actually behind a, a, a dot trap. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could have stopped it setting it off by closing that door or something. I don't really know that, how you stop that guy setting off the trap. I guess you could read a scroll of fog, maybe, but that does not guarantee to work. The one instantly spread always. Oh, I don't need to. Don't need to use my god abilities. I'm going through those guys just fine. That artifact ring or just a basic one? That's always the question with large poses. Like, hey, is that actually is that a good ring? It's a uh, wizard ring, nah. Uh, it's for a different kind of octopode. The more of the cast, the kind. Okay, um. I think I'm fine without serpent slashing these guys, but it would have been an idea. Alright. They can all shift to make sure it stays away from people who's blinking. They're quite good at what they do, like blink away from you and teleporting things around you. Um, I mean, that would also be such a good luck teleporting things around me because I was just killing things too fast. No. Can't quite kill the dragon the way fast, but that's fine. This would be kind of funny if I just like walked straight past it without even caring and just died. Alright, well, let's go downstairs again. I've only got, what? I mean, I'm only doing the first four levels of uh, Zot for now. Well, a little bit of the first level as well. Um. Oh, good. I can chop my shield. Uh, That's fine. I think I just sub and slash and half the stuff dies. There we go. Um, what can I get it up to? Just a plus four shield. So it's not hugely enchanted. I must have not found much enchanted armor this time round. Which if there's one character that does not find enchanted armor, it's probably old bones, to be perfectly honest. Alright, so I finally got the dodging caught up, and that made a huge difference. So I want to get the fighting, I want to get some more dodging. I want to get the shields. I'll get the shame dodging to like 23, I guess. I was leaving the brilliance behind because I don't really have um, spells that I can cast right now. Hey, there's a multiple ghost goes to there. One of them's definitely a genie ghost. So I'll check them out after I kill this guy. So I've got Teddy Mopes ghost. I have Abjuration, Monstrous Menagerie, Spellforge, Servitor. But the Servitor doesn't even have any good spells. It's got like Magic Dart? Does it have anything better than that? Does it say in the description? Doesn't, I don't think it says what spell it's gonna uh, cast. And then we've also got, um, Sigiaquas Ghost, a Minotaur Fighter. Huh. Oh, there are two of them in there. And also not look like super powerful. Hey, final level. Okay, I want to get... I mean, both strands of Dax are fine. I might do Dax this level. My last level. Yeah, I mean, they've got helped a little bit with the debate and brought up to 40. I think it brought my shield up to 32 as well, so that's all good. Alright, well, where's my way down? But yeah, that evasion, trading up the dodging skill is a really good idea. It's made such a big difference. Because I do have 38 uh, decks at this point. Oh, I didn't quite ideally walk up to that guy. Uh, 
prefer not to take those transporters just yet, because then I'll end up surrounded. I'd rather just walk around naturally to get to the creatures. Because I imagine it looks like an arrow that would have a way that you can walk around naturally to get to the creatures. Ah, uh, this looks fine. Let's just try to get into the middle and stuff. There we go. Oh, don't. Ah, there's a lot of a radiate. Um. I'll suck it back with a grab tambourine for a little bit. But then what? Okay. So I'm not charged up with my, um. My other thing, my Serpent Slash right now. Might just throw... Phantom Mirror on this guy. Alright, that definitely dealt with those guys just fine. Just worried that the... I take some mole mutations there due to the irradiated. Didn't quite build up to the same where I was going to take some mole mutations. Thankfully... unusual so it's going to be a, like an acid like complete acid area because you do get the staircase there no it's just statues of various kinds all right oh the the curse girls used to be statues like in old versions of this game so that guy he's sitting there with all the statues it was like filling in for a statue that's kind of funny yeah i feel like that vault probably has to be updated like forever that's hilarious Anyway, oh, the objects of transport doesn't matter. I know where those go. Well, vaguely where they go. Let's just go downstairs. Uh, wait, this is the first level. Hold up. I meant to magic map this level, and I'm gonna leave this area until later. So we've got this side. This is fair. Oh. It's not fairly clear. It's gonna have blinking. Okay. Or, uh... Yeah, dispersal, whatever it's actually called. Oh, well. That could be a, a problem for late run, I guess. But I come to actually doing uh, that part, but I've still got a ton of runes to go first. A firestorm, that's not going to help that much. Did I ever get, like, metaphor to solve with this character? No, I didn't get it. Okay, that's fine. Right, well, I've got Crypt to go, I guess. I think I'll stick with Wujian with this character. Hopefully that's uh, that's alright. I'm just uh, not sure how I do Tomb. Hmm. Actually, do I do Crypt right now, or do I leave that and uh, do Tomb as a Shining One character? Okay. Well, I guess I'll, I guess I'll leave that and I can come back if I want to do two minutes of Shining One character or something. Because, I don't know, there's not a lot of options. Um... Ah, I did get marked, that's a shame. Can do a seven slash here. Oh, but I didn't quite get rid of the guys trying to win. Uh, oh, they are still summoned. Uh, that's too many summons. They're going to teleport out of here, I think. Because there's no way to get to the summoners. Oh, come on. Hey, that was natural. But that didn't get me away from all these summons, unfortunately. So I'm going to do another teleport. This is a bit of a shame because I don't have endless teleport scrolls on me this time round. Am I down to like 12 or something? Um, I should try and get the vines going at some stage fairly soon. In fact, maybe I should get that right now. Let's get Transvocation to, like, 10. Um, Air Magic to, like... Oh, whoops. Uh, that's fine. Air Magic to, like, 10 as well. See if that's enough to get any sort of vines going. And I guess it will help with the blink in the airportation because I'm getting the Transvocations. That makes sense to get that, I think. Alright, well, I finally have to wait to the next level, so let's just take that. Ooh, 
no, that's not good. Well, not what I want to see. So there's a demonic rune, which is exactly what I want to see, but it's guarded by Hellions, which is a problem, because I don't have a lot of ranged options right now. Um, what do I want to do? I could... Yeah, there's going to be a ton of Hellions in there. I'll definitely clear out the areas around the Hellion Island. Um... I wonder if, like, uh, unless the Bagley's got a really short range. Do I have, like, Teleport Other? No. That's a shame. It's one of those spells where you don't usually want to use it, but, like, this sort of situation I could get through with a bit of Teleport Other. Um... I don't know if I have, like... I guess I got a potion if I want to fly... I mean, I can always just, like, skip this level, because the demonic rune you get other ch chances at. I'm just trying to think of the... I mean, I can always also carefully storm up and just fly on into the island or something. You know what, I might give that a try. What's the... What's the flying... This was a terrible idea, wasn't it? Okay, let's not do this. Ah, just go to the next level. Yeah, that, that's not gonna- that was getting way too many of those guys inside at once, so no, I'm just gonna have to, to grab another demonic rune, which is always a shame, but... Oh, it's a tower shield of protection, interesting. Uh, what does this actually do? I know it's mined up right now. It does Bolt of Devastation. Uh-huh. And it's Poisonous Vapors. Um, gotta try it's, uh, Serpent Slash it, I guess. Okay, that looks fine. I want to grab the shield if I've got any inventory space, which of course I don't. Uh, what's my character mod on? It's on plus four. This one's on plus one, so they're actually kind of equivalent right now. Um, I probably could have drawn some stuff before I came in here. I might get rid of the Berserk Rage. Hopefully that's not a mistake, but yeah, it's almost certainly something I could have got rid of. Well, I think I'll put on the protection and swap down a little bit of shield value for a little bit of armor class, which I guess is alright. Uh, anyway, next region, I guess. Now, oh, well, this one was a pretty short region. Hey, there we go. There's a magical rune. I need to gain one cold resistance. Oh, I forgot to pick up the proper rings for that. I probably got a resistance somewhere. Potion, right? Yeah, I got like five resistance potions. I guess I'll just go with one of those. Do I have much in the way of haste? I got nine haste. I usually find this pandemonium lord requires like a bit of haste because they have their heal spam and stuff. Or their uh, freezing spam can also be kind of nasty. You want to take them out nice and quickly. If I can even find the boss chambers on this level. Ah, oh, there we go. I can see all the water which is there. Dead giveaway that I met the boss chamber, especially with the, like the crystal walls around. I should wait off the corrosion. It's only two corrosion, but I should still wait it off. All right, well, that's leading straight to the boss chamber, so I'll put on. I'll put on a resistance and a haste. I think that's going to do the trick. Oh, come on. Really? A teleport trap? Well, so much for those buffs. Man, okay. Well, that was a waste of a good taste potion. Well, I guess I'm using another one, but it's a bit of a shame because they don't have like endless swans of those potions. Oh, okay. 
Uh, I just sub and slash this guy. Right. And anyway, that's my rude that I worked so hard to get. Uh, nothing left for me to do on this level. I don't know why I'm clearing out these extra rooms because I already got the one with the rune in it. Let me just get off this level. But that was so disappointing with the teleport trap. Oh, it's dark rune. It's one of the boss that does uh, torment and also summons in a ton of executioners. Should be fine, I think, for this character. I do have the resist torment at least. I think two resist negative? Yeah, so not too bad. Because I gotta find the boss chambers. Uh, hey, there we go. Let's look like the boss chambers. The arrow just beneath me. I can tell because the walls are a different color. What sort of buffs do I want against this boss? I mean, definitely want to have on a... Might. I'm just trying to think if I want, like, a haste as well. And there's a good chance I do. I don't want to run out of the haste, but, like, I've probably got to use them. Alright, how close am I? I'm not quite at the boss just yet, am I? Uh, House of Vice coming along 12% failure. That's not bad. Right, I think I figured out where the boss is. They'll be right here. So I'm actually pretty close. I might just, uh, I might just do a haste. I think that's probably fine. Alright. Start with the service slash, of course. Wound them up nicely. Oh yeah, that was way, uh, way too easy. They didn't even really get a chance to do any torments or anything. Well, that's exactly what you want with that boss. Not giving them too much of a chance. Alright, uh, come on, move towards the staircase. Excellent, go to the next level. Oh, glowing rune. Um, I'm right next to the boss, aren't I? I'm gonna start with a heavenly storm. Alright, uh, sap and slash. Alright, boss is dead. Don't know how long until I have to teleport out though, but um, we'll see how this goes. I got a lot of evasion when I'm doing the good old Serpent Slash. Not the Serpent Slash, the other one. Okay. Right, well that probably brings the air up to where it needs to be. Let's uh, turn on the fighting, dodging, shields, and I guess shape-shifting as well. I've got a bunch of things I was trying to get. You get 5% of the vice electric charge? Alright. Hopefully that mops up everything and I can just rest up and get my health back. How's the mutations go? Sometimes degenerated, I've got the minus potions. I think I had the minus potions already going to this level. So I haven't yet been badly malmutated here because I took everything out pretty quickly. Alright, well there might be the rude behind that one. No, that was the book, but this... i done two of the four areas, so I guess 50% chance of this next one. Nope, it's stuff. Well, I guess 100% chance of this fourth one, then. Oh, less energetic, that's probably fine. I mean, it's kind of like less health uh, a little bit, because I think I've got the Spirit Guardian and not much other useful magic points. I guess I got the Vise now, I should probably use that. There we go, okay, seven runes. Uh, I just gotta... Oh, wait, I should magic map my way off this level, I don't want to get too well mutated. Yeah, that's probably a sensible plan. Um, ooh, there's a gateway right here. Hey, there we go. I'm off that level. No more mal mutations for me. 
Uh... I don't think this level, I don't think so. Let's go to the next one. It's more demonic runes, right? Uh, this, yeah, it's a demonic rune. There's a fiery rune left to go. No enchant armor, though, apparently, in this place. We ain't marching out for those ones. Uh, and a quiver... Nah, I don't know. I don't think I quiver out the vines after all. It's something I could quiver. Right, well, um... Uh, next region, of course. Oh, next region again. Hey, there we go. Fire region. Can I get... I um, I don't really have like, the ring for that last fire resist. I mean, I can just go without it, but that might not be the most sensible idea. I also don't have the most of the way range attacks right now. Which is a bit of a problem, because I feel like uh, it's best against... Uh, what's the name? Serebov? To use range attacks if possible. Oh, well. It'll probably just be causing me another taste potion or whatever to deal with them. Not marked, am I? I don't think so. I'm just attracting in a bunch of dudes from every direction. Okay, Ignacio. I think I've got the upper hand here. Yeah, he didn't even get a return. He just straight up died to the Zerman Slash, and I'm gonna love that. Right, well, I'm at the boss chambers now. I just gotta find the way in. And I think with this shield, it's a uh, plus two tower shield. Nah, it's just poison resist. Nothing that special. I get that from whatever form I'm gonna be in. It's definitely gonna have poison resist. Oh, oh, the rig of flight? I mean, I should probably carry one of those around. I guess I'll get rid of that old shield. It's probably not that useful anymore. It also comes with a bit of strength, a bit of slang. That's actually not terrible. There are definitely hells where I like to have flight, like the icy one and stuff. Um, oh, cold resist. Uh, it's great when you take it off, but it might be something that's worth carrying around. Get rid of that cold resist fire this one. I don't know. It doesn't seem that good. Okay, so it's cold resist and evasion. I've got a cold resist on me, right? I'm wearing one? No, I'm wearing a double cold resist. It's evasion, though. Um, I could swap out a dex one for this one and get my cold resist off. It doesn't really help that much in this hell. There's a resist negative, which is alright. Um. Sure, let's do it. Alright. Yeah, I mean, I lost a little bit of evasion. Uh, no, I don't think the evasion matter. I lost a little bit of shield, definitely. Alright, well, what do we got? Got some strats. Uh, it's manual base and flails. I don't think I actually need a ring of strats. I think I'm good with the strats I've got. Alright, well, let's tear off. Um, I don't know, I feel like I should probably start a teleport at some stage. Hmm. A bit earlier than I would have liked. Okay. Could I just go for the rune and get out of here? Probably not with my speed. I gotta do a heavily storm, um, but I'm probably gonna teleport out at some stage. Yeah, I should start that right now, I think. Heavily injured. Okay, well, that's progress. Fortunately, I'm not sure I heal up that fast. Um, oh, something going the wrong way.
Yeah, I don't think I got any items of regen on. Okay, there he is again. So I'll put on the fire just again, although I'm getting kind of low on that one. Um, can I try with the heavily storm again? Okay. He did bring in rather a lot of stuff. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I don't have any summon slash left. He's almost dead. What do I do? Do I just whack him or do I... I think I just whack him. There we go. Go rid of him. Excellent. Now we can go and grab his rune, which is sitting behind here somewhere. There we go. Got eight runes. So are there the, still the demonic one, which I had a chance at earlier, but I couldn't do it because it was on a Hellion Island. I don't have the range attacks of this character, unfortunately. You don't know how to travel out of this place. Come on. I know exactly where one of these things is, is, needs to travel to. I can even get there. I'll constantly be ambushed by enemies. There we go. Next return. Come on. It doesn't declare the rune, unfortunately. Oh, body's falling apart. Oh, clumsy. Hmm. We'll see whether that body falling apart becomes a problem, because that's stat degen upon taking damage. If it doesn't become a problem, then I guess I don't have to worry about it. Besides, I'm getting near the end of Pandemonium, so I'm getting to the close to the point where I can reset my mutations without having to worry too much about getting the new set. Kind of want to meet Pandemonium Lords at the moment because they will have all the runes if there are one on this level, if there's not an announced one. But I'm just going to go to the next level because eventually it'll give me an announced uh, level if I keep it going. Ooh, Chant Armor. Excellent. And the shield value hasn't yet recovered. Um, I can hit this guy. Vise up to this guy, I think. There we go. Character is remarkably mobile for a statue, slow moving character. <laughs> oh. I need to be just a tiny bit closer before I can get this vise going. There we go. Uh, this level seems remarkably empty. I mean, there's uh, these occasional creatures on here, but there's not much else. This is the Pandemonium Lord has got to be, right? There isn't really much more left to this level. Hey, there we go. There's some things. Uh, it's got to go. Okay, can go invisible doesn't matter. Dream magic doesn't matter. March of Sorrows? Uh, whatever. I just serve as I should have bet. Alright. Oh, I got set on fire, but it's probably fine. I don't think there was a rune in here, unfortunately. It doesn't look like any of the one of the special levels, but there is at least a portal to the next area. Keep me going here. Once I get out of Pandemonium, what sort of hells do I actually want to do first is a real question. I mean, I think the icy one is not a bad uh, choice. I could probably get a bit of flight somehow. I'm pretty sure I had to ring for that. I've got the cold resist. Um, yes, yeah, that's probably one of my first choices. All right, it's got a tower shield of fire just um hmm. Hold up a second. I have one fire this short. This could be worth grabbing. I could drop. Oh, what can I drop? What am I carrying around that I don't need? There's got to be something. Um. I 
I don't even know at this point. Okay, I could probably draw the Dex Ring, I think. I've got plenty more of those ones. Yeah, and I can take this out, but that would probably, if I use that anywhere, it would be the Fiery Hell, I think. And there's probably no other real use for that shield. Are Poison Scrolls even used when extended? Um, in theory, yes, but they're not very useful. They're mainly just used for making clouds. Like, um, yeah, the fog ones tend to be a little bit better, though, but you can, uh... I mean, this character would actually be immune to my asthma already, but say you're doing Tartarus and you're not immune to my asthma, you can, um... Oh, I might have seven slash ups on this guy. You can, like... Do a poison scroll, then walk into the poison, and that will protect you from the miasma. Oh, to cover this dex ring, it's only five dex. It also gets wizardry and stealth. Um, no, I don't think I want that, but I'm actually it's tempting. Wait, where's my cover? Oh, I had to, hmm, actually. Actually, no, that is pretty tempting. I do want to pick that up. Hold up. I don't want to put it on right now, but there are definitely cases where I do want to put this on. Um, I don't think I need the vulnerability anymore. All right. How hard is it going to be for there just to be a demonic rune for this character to find? I mean, I did get my choice earlier, but man, what I could actually do would be nice. Let's double check. I'm definitely still missing the demonic rune here. Alright. Uh, no, no, no announcement this time around. I wonder whether you can get a second Hellion Island, because that would be kind of funny if I got like a second Hellion Island with my next choice of the rune or something. I don't actually know if you can't get a second Hellion Island. I doubt it. I mean, I could... Uh, the options I could think of was like a Holy One. There's another one that kind of needs range attacks, which wouldn't be so good. In fact, a Holy One might actually be a not bad option for this character. Because I don't have the lit form going, so I just go with like the... Um... Statue form. Alright, well, back into Pandemonium. Still missing this demonic rune. Don't think that announcement just said this branch contains it, unfortunately. You know, I might be able to drop the poison scrolls, because I mean, this character does have the form going already. Uh, ah, the symbol of torment. I don't think I even fight this guy. Yeah, because it had like, uh, it had a guy that could mobby change and stuff next to it, so it made sense just to uh, leave the level. All right, well, I guess it makes sense to leave again. Come on. Oh, there's a healing potion. I guess I can take that one. All right. That, that's not a box fault. That's something else. I mean, it is a box with the boss in it, but it's not an actual, like, one of the box faults. Oh, that's not right. I was trying to... I'm doing the wrong keys. I tried to do a summon slash, but I was accidentally bringing up the battle for assault. Uh, there are reasons I can't just go to the next level, I guess. What does this boss uh, do? Probably check what it does. It blinks around, that's for sure. Yeah, it does blink range to keep a good distance from me, and it's distortion. That yeah, should be fine. Even if it's is mildly annoying to fight. Um, Alright, next region. Hey! Hey, there we go. A powerful lord resides here, guarding the rune. We'll see what sort of level this is soon, but that's exactly what I want to see. Oh, it's the icy one. Okay, that's not too bad. So that's one of the ones I can deal with. Um, I might just explore around a little bit more. 
Try to get rid of some of the creatures around here. The Earth should be good spot to approach from over here. Uh, a lot of blizzard demons, but that's fine. Let's try and surface slash a few of them. No, I don't want to go into the... I don't want to go into the area where all these guys can see me. I'm just trying to pull back what I can with the blizzard demons. Or whatever else there is here. I think it made sense to back up. I didn't quite manage to get rid of um, another one of the statues, but oh well. What did Kagu even do to me? It's probably fine. Don't think it got anything off that time round. These just look like old mutations. Yeah, looks like I'm fine. Might do a heavenly storm. At, least, uh, at the very least, it'll reduce these guys' uh, range of sight. That gives me a bunch of evasion, so that's all helpful as well. Alright. I think this is glad out and I finally got my rune. This is the one that does actually have the staircase after you find the boss, which is interesting, or the portal, I guess it is, to the next level. It's kind of rare, like most uh, levels will give you a portal off as soon as you kill the boss. Although I've, uh, I've got the next level is not what I'm after, I'm after actually a way out of this level completely, aren't I? Which I'm sure I'll find eventually, maybe. Right, how the skills go? They're going all right there. They're all making slow progress, I guess. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to fully explore this level because I'm trying to find uh, portals to the abyss or portals completely out of here. And this level should be reasonably good. Although it is just a random pandemonium level, so I guess it can still have Kanker Demons and stuff that mob mutate. Because I know like a lot of the actual um, rune levels don't have things that mob mutate, which is kind of nice. And apart from obviously the glowing level, which has like everything they can mob mutate. This is not looking promising in terms of portals though. Uh, nope, there's only next level, next level, next level, yeah, okay. Well, any one of these will do, I'll just take this one. And do, oh, I should have just hit the guy while he was next to me. It's fine though, I don't think it got to mob mutate out. Uh, I'm fine with the, I guess, the creatures on this level. I'll just give it a go on this level. I won't just teleport myself to the next level just yet. Alright, that guy's got a plus two tower shield protection. Oh, I think I already charged my up to that. Yeah, plus three now. And there's also a off food foods ghost or something. They look badly. Um, they've got lots of AC, but they don't do a lot. Alright. Uh, I doubt they've got... Oh, there we go. They've got a way out of pandemonium. Okay. Well, no need to worry about that. So, the next place to go is the Abyss, and then reset the mutations, and then go to Hell. That's my classic order here. Because uh, Abyss will happily give you mutations. Oh, there we go. That's the way down. I don't see any rune just yet, though. Oh, 
Oh, something happened. Uh, did the level? I think I got plunged deeper, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I'm on level four now. Oh, and I don't. I still know the the region emblem or something, uh, which would have been a nice thing to bring in here, probably. But oh well. Um. In fact, I feel like I almost should swap ablets. Um, I had the reflection one, which is maybe not a bad idea. Ooh, good, there's a rune. I mean, my current one does give uh, lots of strength, but... Anything bad happened, I'm very frail, I lose my tempo, and I've got minus scrolls, right? So all the bad stuff is temporary mutations. What I should do, though, is I should have poured the root in here and then just go grab it. There we go. Alright. Uh, got rid of most of the temporary mutations, so I could probably go reset the actual mutations right now. I mean, the minus noise one is kind of nice, but I'm still going to reset everything and see what I get. Um, still got low magic capacity, still got minus potions, right? I might try to get rid of that one. I try to get rid of the minus potions at least. Uh, I've become louder. I've got low magical capacity. I mean, I'm going to reset these again. I've still got plenty of potions of mutation. I feel stronger. That's not bad. Oh. Ah, oh, but I feel frail. I'll reset that. Spells are more powerful. I mean, I guess that's fine. <laughs> My spells are nothing too special. But yeah, let's go to hell. Um. Uh, can I keep on moving here? Hopefully that's not too bad. Seem to be staying healthy. Oh, we swap. Forgot my ablet swap. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, to kind of pull out the surface line, just getting a bit too surrounded there. Not sure if my tentacles are doing a very good job of grabbing into things when I'm constantly moving, but they're doing all right, I guess. Uh... Got a double check for a battlefield sword, but like, I really don't think I found it yet. Super sad, but oh well. I can probably just run up to the statue. I don't think it's gonna... It didn't even notice me, so I wasn't getting out of the summons either. Yeah, but I thought I would get anything out too bad. So I was gonna go to the... I think the cold level was the one I was gonna do first. Although Tartarus isn't a terrible idea either. Um, I do want the flight. I've got the... I do want the reflection. Why does that cold resist one again exactly? Oh, that's when I need less go of this. I can swap out this one and put in this one, right? That makes sense. I won't put the Tom Tally's bit outside. Um, fire resist shield could probably stay outside. I doubt I'm going to need huge amounts of fire resist in there or anything. All right. Well, I'll start with I'll start with getting on the flight one instead of resist corrosion, I think. And I will put on the reflection. All right. How much damage did I lose there? 77? I'm not... Can't be too much. I guess I gained some decks as well. Um, or strength as well, I mean. Alright, well, I might get rid of that old damn lunch. Yeah, let's get out of try. See how this goes. I think I've got everything I need. I've got the corridors. Got the flight. Got the way down. I can't be petrified as well, which is kind of nice. Um, because I'm already a statue. And my lowest attribute is my intelligence at what well, was 19. Um, got a little bit drained, but hey. I'm going to 7 slash try and get rid of the Tormentor.
All right. I probably won't have to worry too much about stats there, um, unless it's my end. I don't think I borrowed the thing to pop that up, unfortunately. I actually kind of just need the way down right now. I don't think there's, uh... Wait, does it? Do I actually need to fly in here? Was I actually getting this? Oh, I probably don't, right? I can put on... Oh, do I don't need to resist corrosion? I should have brought something else instead. But I can put on the decks instead. What exactly does the fly give? Because I can kind of travel with water even if I get a little bit of a penalty to attack. Um... Uh, strength and slag. I don't know. I think I'll keep it on in here anyway. Just I like, can kind of swim anyway, right? Kind of. Oh, come on. I can probably just vise this guy. There we go. Don't want to chase after it, try to get it with my um, melee attacks. I do have dig if I need to dig myself into walls, but so far I've been fairly good with that. Also, Scrolls of Fog could be really good in here because they can make it harder for the top end guys to get you. Although I guess I've also got the Wujian thing. You know what? I might just do the Wujian thing because these guys are kind of bad looking. Oh, did that didn't get me with the mic. Okay. Uh -huh. Um, I'm gonna run. I'm kind of slow, but like, uh, with a Sarpent Slash, I guess I'm still pretty good at running, right? Unfortunately, I'm going to lose my Heavenly Storm in here because I can't exactly run around while I'm in a corridor. But, hey, at least I got everything in a corridor, so I should be just fine. Uh, half of these guys can't even fly. Oh, have you done bad about him yet? I sure have, gaze around. Yep, I did that just before coming into hell, which was not too bad for this character. I, mean, I took a few of my potions, I don't know if you can see how many of the potions of, like, taste or something, but I got six left, which should be plenty for the hells. But this hell's definitely not going to take any. I'm already down to the seventh level of Cosinus, wow. That was quick progress. Did I get shafted and not notice or something? How the mutations? Uh, I've got the spells, a uh, more powerful one. And that's it. I could try, like, for a reset if I wanted to, but, like, I'm fine with these ones. I think I've still got some mutation potions left. Uh, I've got... Yeah, so I've got like 10 mutation potions, so like I could try resetting them if I wanted to, but I'm good with what I got, I think. Right, what have we got here? It seems you don't get that mutated bounty body. No, I actually escaped fairly unscathed. Oh, I think I do a heavenly storm. Um, I mean, I got a few in, like, the, the specific pandemonium level that mutates you all the time, but it wasn't too bad. I can keep on moving here, I guess. Alright, still keeping the heavenly storm nice and charged up. Oh. Do you want to do a sub and slash? There we go. Oh, there is the boss on the side. Okay, I'm still reasonably healthy, I guess. Oh. Not quite what I want to see. This is not too bad. Yeah, there we go. And Taylor's doesn't stand a chance against the sub and slashing. Heavenly Storm, uh, Octopode. Well, that's probably the quickest I've done this layout, because usually this layout's, like, super slow. I kind of get stuck in here and, um, 
try and uh, pull things in from both sides until there's not too many things left, but this time around I just stomped my way through the place. Which also means I don't need to be in here anymore because I got the rune, so let's just get out of here. I think Tartarus was next on my list of places to visit. I don't need the flight for Tartarus, do I need the... I mean, I can put that one on instead of the coal resist, right? The question is, do I need the resist corrosion in Tartarus? Not that I can think of off the top of my head, so I don't think I'll grab it just yet. Alright. Oh, that's right. I have no way of, like, cancelling out the, um, how, apart from maybe a few potions of, um, cancellation. Actually, seven potions is... I can't complain about seven potions of cancellation, actually. That's a ton of potions of cancellation. Where did this guy come from? I don't notice that guy sneaking up on me. That silence? Hmm. I am held as well. Alright, well, this doesn't seem too bad. Whoa, except there's another guy with damnation coming along. It's actually doing a fairly good job of throwing it at me as well. Can I get up to this guy? Oh, I can't get away from the Leviathan. Fine, I'll just go charge the Leviathan, I guess. Okay, so well that worked, I guess. Um, be slightly closer. Oh. What's my miscast? I think I've actually got a bit of miscast. I should. Oh, 2% of the buys? Whatever, I'll, I'll just get like one more skill on the translocation of one more skill on the air. It should, uh, well, it's really guarantee that. Actually, no, I don't think that's even necessary. If I just get. Spellcasting to six or something. That way I can at least get a few magic points out of it, which does something for me, I guess. Alright, well, time to go down to level six. Go down to level seven. Uh, not a lot of spots I can move to in here, is there? Ah, I can't move anywhere. This guy got me... That guy's got me mesmerized. Uh, can I move here? I think so. No, I can't. Not perfect being held in place like this. Oh, thank goodness, I can finally move and use that serpent slash that I've had sitting there for so long. Ow. Charge up to that guy, but I need to get back. Man, if, I, if more creatures came along, I'd probably need to do like a healing potion or something, because it's getting down a bit on my health. <laughs> that's right, it petrified me, that's hilarious. Yeah, spellcasting where it needs to be. This is a little bit weird, but I'm actually going to get the invocations up to like 20 or something. Because I don't have a good plan for tombs, so I'm just going to like shining one, and I think. Um, it's a bit of a shame. I'd like to win as Wujin, but I might, I don't know, I could swap back to Wujin after doing the tomb or something. Although I'll probably do tomb last. Um... I mean, it doesn't matter in terms of titles, because I'm just getting the unarmed title anyway. Alright, well, the boss should be in here. Uh, maybe? Yes. I think I put on a haste. Okay, there she is. I'm gonna do a heavenly storm, and then I'm gonna serpent slasher. 
Excellent, because I do have the resistance uh, torment, which is kind of all you really need for that fight. I've got everything I need. There we go. Got my 12th rune, was that? Let's just get out of here. I'm doing pretty well with the runes. Um, fire? Do I go fiery hell? It's plus three shield. My fire, okay. Do I have like another ring that goes like resist fire or something? Um, I mean, I've got the tower shield. I do have a basic ring, do I? But nothing super special by the looks of things. So then to lose, mm, uh, I guess I go with the shield. But either way, I'm losing a bit of defense to get that last fire resist. Yeah, I guess I go with the shield. And then go do the fiery hell. What's that's not it? Ow. Ooh. Ow, that was a bit of damnation. I might just do a healing potion. Um... I want to pull these guys towards me too fast. Ooh. I built the first level of this hell. I might just, um, seven slash to the staircase and get out of here and heal up. Right. Yeah, Torment could definitely be a problem in this place. Yeah, of course I get blown up, um... Anyway, let's just go downstairs, I guess. I might just dig myself into one of the walls. But as a statue form character, I have a bit of trouble doing that. Um... Because of how slow I am, but I guess it's working alright. Um... Okay, third level. Uh, fourth level, right? I could probably just. Oh, never mind. I could blow it around, I think. Gotta say, I could probably just, like, go down the staircase, but that's not happening. <laughs> hmm. Might just do a heavenly storm. And a sub and slash through these guys. There we go. Uh... <laughs> Alright, down to the first level. Instead of going towards these guys, I might just move away from them. Just sort of next to this wall. I'll try and keep uh, next to the wall, I guess. I mean, this place is not diggable. Hey, there we go. There's the staircase down. Level 6. Okay. It's fine. I'm gonna... Heavily storm up. And I'm gonna dig into this wall in case there's more guys coming along, but there's probably not much. Oh, uh, did I just dig into some guys or something? It's probably fine. And for some reason, I thought I was like near the wall, but I guess it was just a little fake, like out of wall. Alright, well, one more level to go. I'm gonna get surrounded, aren't I? Ow, I ran myself out of piety in here. Oh well. That actually didn't surround me as bad as I thought it would. I thought there was going to be a lot more guys coming along. The other the entrance that looks pretty similar to that, I think it's a lot more guys, but uh, clearly was not it this time round. I 
can just fly over this lava. I might give it a try. Don't know if it's much of a shortcut, but I suppose it's somewhat of a shortcut. Um, maybe could have flown over some more lava if I wanted a proper shortcut. That's going the right way. Oh. Well, the guys that are blowing me back so they said aren't sending me the right way to get to the boss. I think the boss might just be down here somewhere. Hey, there we go. There he is. Um, I'll try and get my... There we go. My, like, uh... Magic bag and stuff. Pull them up nice and close, but I want a haste potion on because you can't, like, teleport out here. Um, okay. That's not, not quite perfect, but I'm going to circle the slash around. Yeah, there we go. Just run circles around him and he should die. Excellent. I don't care about us. Uh, useless execution thanks. All I care about is getting out of this place now, I think. Alright, how many runes do I have now? I've got, uh, sitting on 13 runes. So I've got the Iron City of Dust and two of Ancients. I'm actually gonna do the Iron City of Dust first this time round, and then I'm, I think I'm gonna have to do the Shining one. Yeah, I mean, the Invocations are doing pretty good, which is nice. Um, I've probably got some magic mapping that I can throw out here if I want to as well. And I don't think I'll worry about the first level. It seems to be reasonably chill. Oh, there, well, I already had the way down. Sure. Oh, I should probably put my resist corrosion back on, maybe? Yeah, because uh, there are the shrikes in here. Instead of... I mean, I'm sure we don't have better resist corrosion, but I might instead of the flying one. I'll lose a bit of damage, but oh well. Alright, well, I might match back about this one. I got six magic mapping. I can eat far too easily, throw like three of them at this hell, I think. Hold on. Sup and slash a little bit. Torment could actually end up in a problem if it torments me too much. Uh, don't have a huge amount of choice about where to go just yet. Uh, holding these guys plays with the constraints does not quite allow me to fight them one at a time. We was getting pretty close, but not quite. Oh, uh, my son instantly marked. Might try and cancel that one up, but um, something's almost certainly still noticed the mark. Yep, like this dude. Uh, this guy probably can't really hit me. Let's see. That's about 2% chance to hit me, yeah, because that's get through my 50 of age, and then they get through my 36 shield, right? So, not a good chance. Alright, next, uh, next way down. And I've still got, uh, 39 AC in here, which isn't terrible. I should, I should serve a slash, there we go. Get rid of the Tormentor. Do I have, I don't have Faith on it at the moment, what is my amulet actually? That's a good question, it's a reflection one, which is actually kind of nice in here, because I feel like a lot of the guys in here do shoot things at me, like the um, Iron Giants and stuff, and the Ancient Champions, they all shoot stuff that can be reflected back. I actually do, okay, what do I want? Number of things I want, but I might just get more invocations. If I'm going to be doing a Shining One Tomb, then i got to get that near max. I'm almost tempted to, like, try Serpent's, uh, slash my way through Tomb. I'm just not sure that's a good idea. I don't know, maybe. 
And she kind of, oh, maybe I should get the invocations after all. You know what, I might just, uh, might just try to stick into Wujian, and if it doesn't work, I can, uh, desperately try and go to the Shining One or something. It was a 25 skill max for the, yeah, for the statue talisman. Uh, I don't know if this guy does damnation with his friend around here. I don't think it does. Oh, nice. Another haste potion. I'm... That's another thing that would definitely help me getting tomb done. I'm just not... I'm just not sure, like, without the death form, how good a character would be in tomb, you know? I might just have to go shining one. I think I will, unfortunately. But again, it's coming down to, like, the lack of a death talisman is what kind of makes that decision for me. I'm on level 7. I'm making good progress, but I am marked. I might just retreat back a little bit. I go to cancel off the mark just in case I had to like teleport out. Um, because I'd rather not be marked if I had to teleport out. Oh, that's the spader himself. Okay, I probably do have to teleport out. Uh, well, I probably should just in case. There we go. I mean, it must be in like another unexplored corner of the level, but it shouldn't take me get long to get back to where I was. Right, so I just gotta, I mean, I just gotta head it this way, I guess. The spade has probably gone back to where he initially started on this level. He usually does do that after a little while. At least with most characters. Um, yeah, there he is. If I haste up, though, he should be kind of trivial. Don't if I throw in a bit of... Oh, that summon slash was completely wrong. What went on with that summon slash? That did not go where I expected that to go. Uh, I'm also trying to throw a bound or something. Uh, okay. Do I need the decks or the evasion? There's only three decks. Oh, no, it's the invisible. It's not even evasion. Evasion would probably be a little bit better. Let's get out of here. Alright, well, there's only the tomb left to go out. Um, I haven't done the crypt yet. Oh, I should, I should go swap to the shiny one. Oh, it's just sad. Yes, a lot of things. Wujia does occasionally silence you, which is kind of what I'm worried about, but oh well. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I don't have, like, a weapon to brand up, but that's probably fine. Um... Fine, I get the, get the invocations. Oh, what am I doing? I try to like summon slash all those guys, which of course is not doing anything. No one else, I'm like a baby, shiny one character worshiper. Nice, another blink. I might need some of those. Okay. I should have the, oh, it's a divine shield, but I don't yet have the cleansing flame. That one comes along a little bit later on, I guess. But it goes through the crypt, I should be able to get, like, most of the parties I need for tomb, I think. And, of course, none of these guys are any issues. It's just that, um... The guys that torment that are a problem. In fact, it's multiple guys now. There's some of these curse stones in here. Alright, well, first level, no problems. I believe I've got, like, do I have three negative? Yeah, apparently I do. 
Is there anything I want to swap around? My fire resistance is more than it needs to be. I actually should put on this other shield. So I want to protect it and get my armor class up just a little bit. And I think my shield value up a little bit as well. Oh, I I've got 40 on a lot of things, but I don't think my shield value is going to quite break 40 this game, unfortunately. It'd be kind of nice if it did, though. Get everything up to 40 or better. Alright, already on 5 Pips of Piety, which I think gives me all the abilities, apart from the, like, uh, brand weapon or whatever, but I don't think that's going to happen. Alright, last level of the crypt. Um, see what sort of ending I get here. I wonder if it'll be like a skull ending or a... There's a number of different endings. You just gotta wander around a little bit to figure out which one it is. I mean, I haven't really figured out just from what I've seen so far. Alright, there we go. I can brand a weapon with Holy Wrath once. In fact, I can go chart up my shield to plus four. Um, I can probably go also drop the fire of this shield. Come on. It's a little dead guy, whatever it is, a little zombie, doesn't really matter, skeleton. I think it was a skeleton. Gotta get up to the curse scale, there we go. Another thing you can do, if you can't quite get up to it, you can still dump a cleansing flame on it. Um, because that's got a little bit of range on it. Okay. Oh, that guy's got a ring of resist cold, willpower 2, resist negative, a couple of slang. Um, I can actually use that because I'm currently just wearing like a basic resist corrosion. This is clearly better than that. Um, this guy's bringing some kind of tough stuff. Alright. Get those guys out of view before I put them back on just in case they start summoning. Uh, what's that one? Fire resist cold resist slaying but minus willpower. That's interesting. Uh, but I will put on this resist corro corrosion one. What do I've got? What have I got for fire cold resist? I mean that was willpower. I can't really take it off. Because uh, I just gained a willpower so like I could swap some stuff. That one's uh, res evasion resist cold I see. That was just pure fire resist. A little bit of strength. Um, is this leg better than the strength? Maybe. I don't know. It's not like a. It's not like a huge difference either way. Anyway, I might just dig these guys out of here so I can fight them. Um. So we've got the, oh, the, I'm not allowed to use the spell binding because it's evil or something. But the Dex, Seversible, Fly. Hmm. I mean, I could get a Fly, but I don't think it does anything for me. Does it have any downside to that rig? It had a minus willpower, didn't it? Right. Which my willpower is sitting on five, so I guess that doesn't really matter. Just I do have like a basic dex that I could swap out with that one, I suppose. Ah, you know what, I'll do it. I'm pretty sure I had a basic, yeah, I had a basic dex one right there, so now I guess I get to fly, but it doesn't really do much else. Anyway, here's the tomb, let's go in. Oh, more enchant armor. Nice, I can bring my shield up to 40. There we go, all my defenses are 40 well, or better. Uh, do I have some lignification potions? Because I'm probably going to need them. It's like the first time I'm actually going to need those ones, but, um, yeah, the statue form, despite its resistance to top, it isn't quite good enough for the later levels um, in here. I mean, it's really good for the first level of tomb, because that's not packed with quite as many mummies. Alright, it's okay. I was just watching out for the orbs of destruction, making sure 
none of those hit me for ridiculous amounts of damage or anything. I still need to find the staircase down. Oh, there we go. That's my staircase down. I don't think this character can skip the first level or the, or the second level, I mean. They could actually have to do that properly, but that's not too bad. Um... So I doubt I'll have too much problems. I should have, uh, well, I've got five lignification. That's probably fine. I don't know how long this Wujian Rats going to last, because I trigger it reads me often, because I think how often you trigger is based on how much XP you get or something. Uh, and then, it, like, it builds up a God Rats meter when you get XP, and then it triggers it at some stage. Right, well, I don't really need to code resist anymore. Don't need that Dex one. I mean, I about to play of inventory room. Right, so let's just, uh, do I have... I have lots of interaction. I'll put on my Divine Shield. Put on a trash and I'll go down. I will lignify, I will lose me quite a bit of defense, but hey, I've still got uh, 56 shield value, I guess. Uh, speaking of shield value, I might just get shield fighting. Oh, I should probably get dodging as well. Just get all the defenses up, I guess, at this point. Oh. That's okay. Watching it, uh, keep an eye on that health, especially because it's getting like poisoned up and stuff. Yeah, we'll pop the attraction. It has a lot of poison. I think I'm gonna have to cure a little bit of that uh, poison. Maybe should have done like a little bit of uh, fog or poison scroll or something. No, poison wouldn't quite work because I wouldn't have the time to do it. Um, maybe should have popped a little bit of fog or something. Hey, Audrey, how, Audrey, how's the run going? I'm on my last rune, so pretty good so far. Yeah, I, I was a Wujin character, but I switched to the shiny one for two because I didn't really have what it take. Like, it didn't have the um, death talisman, so I was like, oh, I'll just do shiny one for now. I don't need a kite shield. I don't need manual conjuration. I don't really need the mon money for, oh, well. Uh, manual transigations is like, Maybe, but probably not, but something at least. So you'd be a family place, rooted if you if you may say. I certainly was rooted in place. <laughs> but not anymore. Now I'm uh, running around or what do octopodes do? Do they like crawl around, run around? How do they work? Slither around? I guess they kind of slither? I don't know how quite an orange pod works on land. Swim around on land? Who knows? Anyway, I want to put on my divine shield though. I want to teleport. Try and get to the other side of the map. Ooh, first try. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of a trash on these guys. Like, there's plenty of clouds to keep me here. Not that I care about being poisoned there. Oh my god, uh, I'm mutated, did I? Do not regenerate monsters invisible. I control these shouted foes. Oh, I like Berserk, okay. Well, I should reset the Berserk. That's not what I want to see at all, but at least I got some mutation potions. Uh, do not regenerate. I might try resetting these again because I think I lost all my good mutations. Well, so much for that. That didn't do much. Ah, my scrolls, come on. Frail. I'll get there eventually. There we go. So I got edge map around me. Oh, what am I? I've got like a little spike now that I can hit people with. Um, like a tentacle spike. Oh, you almost had a 10 hour game today? You overdid it a bit? Yeah, because I think that's about how long it takes to, uh, when you're first getting wins, right? It's like 10 hours. Oh, it was a new zinc. Scaling steep. I haven't tried the music or arts. 
What do they, what do they like? Because I've got to try one of those soon, because I was going to try get rich on a mummy. Well, maybe not that soon, but I had plans. Uh, put on Divine Shield. Oh, Trachin. I'm actually going to, like, pop a Shelly pot and then go down, see if I can get, oh, that'll do. Yeah, that'll do. Um, oh, that's not it. Uh, it's a little bit of an awkward corridor, actually, to be perfectly honest. Am I no longer trying? Okay. Whoa. I want to actually reposition into a little bit more to the open and then lignify again, I think is probably a good idea. All right now, I can start up another attraction or whatever. Uh, good old Wuji and Rath. Can you actually swap back to a god while you're still under the Rath? Because I kind of want to win as Wujian. Because I was Wujian for so long in this run. It just feels right to win as Wujian. I mean, I got 14 runes under Wujian. They were pretty good. Yeah, I've heard from the idea of the new Ziggurats is like with the tournament, like the next one, which how long that will be. Um, apparently they're not gonna have to do as many tournaments. It's just gonna be like I no Ziggurats. I mean, it's just gonna be like maybe ten. It's a number I heard thrown around, but like there's not really a final number just yet. And uh, they'd be like so much harder. So I guess the I guess the Ziggurat scaling's already gone through, right? Um, man, I'm, I'm really wanting to try these ziggurats now. I'm going to have to think carefully about my next character. Oh, hey, there's a death now. It's a little late for that one now. I've technically got the skill to use it, but, like, I'm done here anyway. So, like, <laughs> it's kind of pointless. Uh, not that the shiny one would even approve of it anyway. Um, there's my ziggurat that I'm after. What can I drop? I don't think this character is the right character for a ziggurat, but if I... Hmm. Oh, plate armor, like orange crystal plate armor. Sure. I mean, I could peek into one. Last time you got to floor, like, 16, I didn't see a, any seraph floor? Right, like, the, the holy seraph ones. This time you saw two and died on ziggurat level 8. Oh, man. Oh, wait, is Seraph on Ziggurat level 8? It's kind of rough. I, will there, like, mod ball them? Because I know those used to, they used to just be in, like, later Ziggurats, right? The Seraphs. I think the early holy levels didn't really have anything like that. Or not, uh, floor zig uh, 16, Ziggurat number 16. Wow, okay. Oh, there's Ziggurat number 8, not floors this time around. Okay, no, that makes way more sense. With the floors not being, um... Ziggurat 16 is really good, actually. I bet characters get really close to dying on Ziggurat level 16 when I was trying my Mega Ziggs. Uh, I'm really surprised actually my Mega Ziggs I did work out so well. What do I want to do now? This skill's looking just fine. Um, I'm going to go back to Wujin. I don't think the Shining One will care if I go back to Wujin. I really hope I can go back while I'm still under their wrath, though. They might not want to take me back. Uh... Okay, they wa they welcome me back. Good, let's go to Zod. Not that I can do my well with the tank, so I should get a bit of piety. Uh, Zod 5, I think it is at the moment. I oh, think Wujin might care. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they they go and away piety for, the, uh, for leaving them. It's kind of funny that I was, like, never out of their wrath. But yeah, they, they, they take me back just fine. I guess, technically, if you couldn't survive a god wrath and you abandoned for a god whose wrath wasn't too bad, you could, uh, go swap over. Oh, I think I gotta go this side. Uh... 
Let's cancel out the alarm that I set off. Don't have my moment attacks unlocked just yet. Or anything else for that matter. Oh, whoops. That's not going to do well with the tax. At least I'm a 15 rune carriage, so I'm a bit tougher despite basically being an atheist. <laughs> not really a reason to go on the side. I want to go on the other side because it's got a... got like a super awkward dispersal trap, so I don't think I want to go on that side. Did I just one hit it over fire? That doesn't sound right. Huh. Oh, well. I think I might have. Oh, can I do whirlwind attacks? Hey, the whirlwind attacks are back. Nice, that's what I want to see. And the lunge attacks were always here since I swapped to Wujin. I think you get those at zero piety, which is pretty cool. No, not quite close enough. Oh. And Raz is going to get mic'd. I might cancel that one. Um. Something's almost certainly still going to come along. I mean, there's this guy. Yeah, it's over fire. Got genetic defects and a bit of clumsiness. It actually doesn't seem too bad, although I might just try and reset the genetic defects, see if I can make that slightly better before I do my old run. Uh still got the genetic defects. I don't think I really improved that. Uh I'm frail. I mean I got rid of the genetic defects, but I also replaced it with not very good mutation. Hey, that's fine. I mapped it around me, I got minus two decks. Yeah, that's all good. Um Excellent, well, let's just get the orb and get out of here. I don't think there's anything else for this character to do. I'm a crusher, which is what I wanted to be. Yeah, I'm, I'm good to go. Go to Zot Zero, please. Ah, <laughs> master dodging, master fighting, master shields. I can get a little bit of shapeshifting, I guess. One of the few things that actually is useful at this point. Oh, I don't have a regen on. Oh, well, that's probably fine. Although, maybe I should drink an Ambrosia on the staircase or something. Let's go do that. Just uh, get a little bit of this health back. There we go. Oh, come on. I'm going to have to bring this one upstairs. That's fine. It's just a pandemonium lord. A really annoying pandemonium lord, but still just a pandemonium lord. <laughs> Hey, it's a shiny one sitting in the angel to kill me. Well, so uh, can I only be upset with me abandoning? <laughs> Except not really. It's not really because I abandoned. Hey, dungeon level 15? That's not where I'm pretty good. Don't go to dungeon level zero. Um, this guy is it's not even fast. Well, I guess I had the haste spell, so I guess it kind of was fast, effectively. Someday I'll be able to get to the staircase and not be endlessly ambushed, or maybe not. What does this guy do? It does, uh, Glaciate. Oh, Glaciate's kind of nasty. Uh, I think I just go kill it, though. <laughs> Ooh. It's almost dead, but still. Wow. Yeah, the glacier really is nasty. Let me just go over to a staircase. Hopefully, I can get one this time round. Oh, come on. These Ambrosias aren't doing a lot, but they're, they're doing something. They're slowly healing me a little bit. It's a classic stand view form off run. Yeah, when you're like really slow. Oh, goodbye, Maven. He didn't have to die, but he decided to fight me. I mean, I feel like if there was an Omron Octopode going along, and you were a Mabel, the sensible thing to do would be look the other way. 
I just let them do their own run. Is that my staircase? I must be very close. This is my staircase. Let's get out of here. That was a pretty fun game. I mean, Orange Boys get really good once they take off. Yeah, once they get like 41 AC, 53 evasion, 40 shield value, there's not too much stopping them. Oh, Alright, let's get out of here. I mean, I had good rings. I had a good collection of rings. Yeah, I did everything I needed. Chill's pretty good in the end. And I managed to win with like the, the hat. The hat for that special, like, Indiana Jones vault, which is really fun hat. I think I still had, like, endless blinks, right? Yeah, I had 13 blinks at the end. Alright then, well that wins that character.